It's okay now. Stop giving me that look. I will be back before you know it. I'm not going to stay forever. It's just a few days, huh? Okay. <laughs> My angels. Daddy, you are enjoying this new you. I pray it continues. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you. Of course, it's real. <laughs> hmm? Nothing to worry. Hmm? Honey, right. I just don't like the fact that you are driving. The roads are not good. Baby, I've been doing this for some time. This is not my first time, okay? Okay, but call me. Of course. And come back soon, okay? Of course, I will call you. Hmm? And I'm coming back soon. Hmm? Okay. That's my baby. I love you. I love you, Mom. <laughs> okay, Paul, you're running So, girls, late. take care of Mom, okay? Okay, bye bye. Be a good girl. Be a good girl, right? Okay, okay. All right, I'll see you when I see you. Okay, bye. 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 See you, bye. 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 Bye, my angels. Your dad is coming today. In fact, he's on his way right now. Are you happy? Good boy! <laughs> Junior! I get daddy to call baby! No, 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 don't say that! Junior, make sure no one hears that from you again. Do you understand? Mama, I don't like uncle! Come on, Junior, don't say that. Okay? Promise you won't say it again. Say, I promise. I promise. Good boy. Now come to mommy, okay? Oh, my baby. Mm. Make sure that you don't say that again so daddy will not get angry with you, okay? Oh, give mommy a hug. Good afternoon, Mr. Lucius. How are you? I'm How fine, you? I'm fine. Sit down. Please, your wife. <laughs> Kids, since you came into our family, uh, I've never seen you in this happy mood. What, what is going on? Yes, yes, yes. I am so happy, Mr. Uche. You know, my husband came here yesterday. Okay. And then he came home and became a new person. Are you serious? Very, very serious. Titus took me and the children out yesterday. Not just that, too. He bought us gifts. Oh. He was in a very good mood. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy. Good news. <laughs> thank, hey. you, thank you for hey. that. Thank you. Hey. That is why I came. Okay. I want you to tell me exactly what you told him so that I can be using it on him because he's working. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you. I, 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 one baba gave me something. And I rubbed it on my on my leg. <laughs> hey, I'm so That's happy. good. Thank God. Thank hey. God. Thank that God. is the title I want hey. him to be. <laughs> huh? Honestly, I married the sweetest woman in the world. No man will have a taste of her and not want to have her permanently. Some wicked men will even want to kill me so they can have her for themselves. God forbid. I will never give her that chance. If I come back now, I will return things to the way they are. I will never let her see freedom she's looking for.
related to him. Ah, I don't know him. Oh, I don't know him. I just saw the the accident scene and then I went there and, uh, and helped. Oh, really? Yes. You just helped him like that? Wow. I, I'm happy to hear that. I can't believe there are still good people out there who could help people without making fun of it. You know, other people, when they see accident victims, instead of helping, they snap to post on their social, social media, media handles. Ah. Mm. Yeah. Hope he survives. Um, nevertheless, since you're not related to him, then how do we locate his family? Uh -huh. I I got his phone and other valuables. Okay, but it's locked. Yeah, I don't have the code. Oh, it's locked. Um, this thumbprint. Oh yes, 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 yes. Check, check, check it. Okay, it's open now. Yes. I thought as much. Okay. So look for that my, be, my wife or yeah. my brother, something like that. Or my honey. My wife. Baby! Come, 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 come and hear this. <laughs> ah, thanks to God, thanks to God. Hey. Please, let everybody be happy. Yes. Ah uh, yeah, come, come, come. Hey. come. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. How are you that? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's the first time I've seen you this happy. Uh, hey, is it not the same thing I said? I'm so happy. <laughs> that is what I was just telling your husband. <laughs> I've been praying for a day like this. Sorry, my phone is ringing. Uh-uh. <laughs> the best thing we are just talking about is calling. <laughs> oh, Titus. <laughs> Hello? Hello, my name is Ahanma. What are you doing with my husband's phone? Uh, sorry, madam. There was an accident along uh, Enugu Abakereke Express Road. It's a lie. My husband told me he was going to Lagos. Uh, I'm sorry, madam. But if you know the owner of this phone, that means you're needed at Siri Hospital for identification. I am not coming anywhere. I'm sure this is you a 419 or you stole my husband's phone. You better return the phone to him. Hello, ma'am. Can you imagine? Uh, what is it? Can you imagine? One idiot just called me now and said, my God forbid, not my husband, that his ancestors had an accident along Enugu Abakeleke Road when my husband told me he was going to Lagos. Can you imagine? Eh? Um, uh, yes, not him. Uh, uh, not him. But, not him. But, but at the same time, we need to verify this information. Look, okay? I, I, I'm not saying he's your husband, but at the same Sauche, time... He told me he was going to Lagos, not Enugu. Okay, doctor. See, the the woman is doubting me. She was shouting that I should I should give the phone to the owner that she's not coming anywhere. I don't know. Well, then, what are we gonna do now? What are we going to do? See what will happen now. Okay. I check the phone. You. I don't know if there's WhatsApp on the phone. You yes. see WhatsApp. Yes. Okay. You have to snap him. Okay. Then send it to that number. Send Ooh, those pictures oh, to yes, that number yes. so that it will be proof. Yes. That they will see the face and. Yes. Yeah. Snap the face, come closer so they will recognize him. Nice one. I mean, I'll afford it to that. Snap the leg so they will see. They will see what happened. Okay. I'll now send those pictures yes, to you. Send, That's my mind. All right, fine. Oh, you know what? Just call that number back. Let me let me talk to the uh, person. I think you should do that. I think. Well, I think you are just disturbing yourself for nothing. But I will call him. It's ringing. Yo. Yeah, um. Hello. Yes, sir. My name is Ahanda, sir. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, the owner of this phone is my younger brother. 
Please, uh, what happened? Sir, the, he is involved in a motor accident. Seriously wounded. He's unconscious as we speak. Oh, I, are you serious? All right, all right, fine. Uh, you know what? Please, um, send me the name of the hospital and the address. I, I, I'll be there shortly. Okay, sir. I'll do that. All right. Uh, Have you seen him? Yeah, um, yeah, it's a... Chimo! Hey, what? They have killed my husband! They have killed Titus! What? No, 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 Hey! Okay, they kill Titus. Okay, no. it's okay. Oh, no, 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 no! Relax, relax. What else happened to you? It's, it's, it's fine. You made it alive. Oh, oh, baby, you know what? You hey. Take care of the house. Take care of the children. No. Okay. No. Why I get ready? Then we'll go to the station. Let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Let me, let me get ready. Okay, please, okay. please take care of my children. Pick them up from school. I will. Hurry up! I will. No, no, calm down. It's okay. Everything will be alright. No, it was okay. Oh, it's. She's not replying my messages. Is it still coming or not? But if he left us about, as of the time he told me he was leaving, he should be here by now. <sighs> no. No, no. Okay. Hello? Who's this? Uh, my name is Ahana. The owner of this phone is involved in a motor accident. What? You, 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 you're, not, you're, not, you're not serious, are you? Yes, he's hospitalized as I speak to you. Hospitalized? Hey, how is he? Is he fine? Is he still alive? Yes, very much alive. Just that he's uh, seriously wounded. Okay, I'm coming right away, okay? I'm coming. Have I lost it? I lost it all. No, 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 this is not happening. This is not happening. No, 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 Maybe I'll calm down. This is not happening. This is not happening. No, no, no. Hi, my village people. Oh, my village people, I have to walk. I have to walk. I have to do something. No, not this time. I can't lose this time. I can't lose at this point. Baby, 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 there's a problem. A very big problem. Problem? What could that be? Chief. Chief? Chief Titus had an accident. My, oh my. Oh my God. I said it. I had this premonition. I had it. You see, my instinct doesn't lie to me. Maybe what should we do now?
you try and look at him. Okay? Why going? Go with Junior. Hmm? He, he would love to see his son. Okay. Okay. I, I, I pray to walk. I pray he... he, he, he. It'll walk. Okay. It's okay. Chief. Chief. I, 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 it's a bad woman. Oh, it's a bad one. Money nobody come again. See, I wanna. Chief, don't die. Don't die. I still need you. I still need you. I wanna. 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 Yeah, uh, we just arrived at the hospital now. Where are you? Oh, all right. Just, 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 Everything under control. Um, I believe in no time he will start talking. I believe that. Yeah, uh, doctor, thank you for all you've said, okay? Um, so, um, where is this care? Like, what? Um, as at this moment, uh, we found out that he has multiple fractions. Um, uh, um, we also discovered that he has um, a, a serious injury on his that he grabbed. Hi, Doctor, Doctor, please, please just make us understand, you know, simpler English. What is wrong with Titus? Eh? <laughs> what it means is that he will find it difficult walking. He is crippled. They have oh, crippled him. That is what he is saying. It's not crippled here. Just relax. Hey. Just, no, he will be fine. He will he'll be fine. Be fine. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, no. Like I said earlier, he, he has 50% chance of getting back to his feet again. But the process will cost a lot of money. Hey, come on, come on, doctor. Do whatever you have to do. Money is not a problem. Yes. Okay. Please. Please save his life for us. Yes. Okay. Um. I am a Christian. I believe in God. We doctors, we give care. But it's only God that heals. So I pray and believe that.
Honey, sweetheart, sweet skin, baby, Moss. Hey, madam, madam, you have to calm down. Baby, don't touch him. Madam, please, you have to calm down. Baby, he doesn't need this noise now. Calm down. Baby, baby, are you okay? Is he still alive? Yes, sure, he's alive. You didn't give me food. Honey, see, honey, what's up, what's up, what's up? Madam, calm down. I am as confused as you are. Hi. You mean you have never seen that woman before? No. But I know nothing about this woman. But I, I had her calling my brother her, her husband. No. This should be a mistake. We are not dreaming, right? So we are awake. What's happening? How can Titus get married to another woman without any of us knowing about it? Exactly. That is the reason you should be telling me what is going on. Look, Mr. Uche, if there is anything I need to know, anything at all, you can tell me. Eh? Tell me. Uh, nothing, nothing. Like I told you before, I, I am as confused as you are. I don't I know nothing. I won't lie to you. Huh? Uh, yes, believe me. Well, well, anyway, uh, uh, thank God he's still alive. Huh? Thank God he's still alive. Only Titus can explain this. Hey. Huh? I, I, I pray he come out of this coma as soon as possible so he can tell us what is going on. Mr. Uche, that little boy. That little boy. Are you sure that boy is not Titus' son? Eh? <sighs> well, uh, I, I, I really don't know what, what is going on. The little boy called him daddy. Hey! So... Uh, I, I can't explain this. I don't know. Only him. Only him. Like I said before, I pray he come out of this coma as soon as possible so he can tell us what is going on. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Just, 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 okay, don't worry. We have to be strong for him. Okay? So, relax. Please. Let me see what is going on. Yeah? Yeah, oh, madam. The man lying down there is my younger brother. And the beautiful woman sitting beside him is his lovely, legally married wife. So please tell us, who are you? I'm sorry, I did not introduce myself. All right. My name is Mabel. And the boy seated here is Titus Chikamso. His father calls him Chinya. Excuse me. Who is his father? Mr. Titus here. Yeah. We had him together. He's been coming to see us. <coughs> Sorry, Junior. In fact, he was on his way to come see us when he had this accident. I am from Obuluku, but I school in Ebony State University. So, it was you. My husband was going to see you back in Likin. And he told me he was going to Lagos 
for a beating. <laughs> Thank you. The doctors told me the effort you made in bringing him here. I appreciate it. Uh, these are most of the variables I got in his car. And uh, this is his phone. Yes, I used his uh, thumbs to open it when I was looking for the family member's number. I hope you don't mind. No, of course not. Thank you. you you're a very good man. God bless you. I had to do what I did. You know, someday I might need somebody's help. The devil always down to me. Thank you very much. And about his car, it has been kept in a mechanic workshop. Hey. So once they are done with what they are doing with it, I will inform you. Thank you very much. My God will bless you. Hey, hey please let me have your number. Just put oh. your number here. Called my brother your husband. I don't know you. When did he pay your birth price? I'm sorry, you called him my husband. I did not realize his relatives were here at the time I came. I also remember you telling me. That my brother Titus told you he was married. Then, why did you still go ahead to get pregnant for him and have a baby for a married man? I never wanted to keep the child. He begged me to keep the child for him. So, how did you meet him? So that fateful evening, I was selling fruits for my sister. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Welcome. Man. What do you want? Um, apples is fine. Okay. Red one. The red one. Yeah. How, how many? Uh, six. Okay, sir. Oops.
Sorry, sir. It's too much. This is too tired. Oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Um, excuse me, sir. I just lost my phone last week like this. Oh, sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, you're so kind. Thank you. Thank you sir. Sorry, just hold on. Let me. I must reward you. <laughs> I have my driver's license, everything in this wallet. Here you go. Oh, no, sir, I don't want. No, no, it's just from my heart to say thank you. No, sir. Why would I take money from you for, for helping you? It's fine. At least some people will just speak it like that. Um, okay, wow, sir. thanks a lot. Eh? You're welcome, thanks. sir. All right, let me, let me have your contact. At least I mustn't come here all the time to buy. Oh, sir, I, I, I know I will not pick your calls. Um, well, uh, sometimes I can just call and tell you what I want. You keep it for me and I just pick it, right? It happens, eh? Wow. Thank you, and keep it up, eh? Yeah, right, sir. Calling, calling and demanding to see me. He disturbed that he wanted to see me. But I refused. I did not see him. So, how did you get pregnant for him? It was my first year in Ebony State University. My uncle stopped paying my school fees. And of course, my parents are late. I didn't want to stop schooling. So I approached Mr. Titus. I spoke to him about it. So he started paying my school fees. He changed my life. He rented a comfortable place for me to stay in Abakliki. Until one day, he said he wanted to come visit me in school. I realized I was pregnant. I approached him. I spoke to him about it. I even asked him to give me money to abort the child. But he refused. He begged me to keep the baby. That he was going to take care of him until he's grown. Of course, he's been keeping his promises. He's been taking care of my son. But now that he is sick, I know my son and I will suffer. No. He will never suffer. As long as I live. He will not. You said the boy is Tito's son. I will take good care of him. 
But one thing I still don't understand is why will a promising, beautiful girl like you dash your future to a married man? Looking at the future, I wonder what the currency will be by the time you realize what you have done. It was a mistake. No. It was a deliberate mistake. That is what it is. You may really not understand what you have done. But time will tell. So what do you suggest I do now? Go on your knees. Talk to your creator. Beg for forgiveness. Beg for directions. Tell him to help you correct your mistakes. Only him. Yeah. I thought I showed you to your room already. Just when you want to enjoy peace. The devil still locate us with another problem. Why us? Why us all the time? You know what? You don't have to cry anymore. Your dad is still alive, and I saw him with my eyes. Well, don't you believe me? We believe you. But God should have protected our father. Now I'm almost start crying again. I want to see my mommy. Oh. My darling. See him. Don't you worry, your mom is fine. You should be worried about your dad. My mommy has suffered a lot in the house of my father. Yes, that's it. I don't want my mommy to cry again. You know what? It's bedtime, let's go to bed. No, I want to see my mommy. I'm not feeling sleepy.
not anymore. Phone. Go through his WhatsApp. Make sure you read carefully so you understand how inhuman died to says. My brother chosen to live such a life. Titus beats me up every time. He never allows me to dress well or even go out like my mates. But still, I endured all of that because of how much I love Titus, my husband. Yet, he goes out to sleep with all these girls. Stop crying. Uh, you've been crying for days. Don't go and fall sick. You don't want me to cry. You just let me cry. How can you even say I should stop crying when my worst nightmare keeps staring me to my face? Just let me cry, okay? Let me cry. I'm very sure <laughs> by the time he gets well, he will make amends. I don't care about his amends. I just care about fixing my broken life. No, you can't. You can't. You can't leave him now. You cannot abandon him in the hospital. This is the time he needs you most. This is the time he needs to end your trust. Trust. Did you just say trust? Tell me, where has trust landed me? What has he earned me? I've given titles my life. I gave up on my dreams, gave up on my aspiration, gave up on my career. I quit my job. I've given him everything and this is what I get. Not anymore. This is a time for me to fix myself. Fix my life and I will do it. I have been on the receiving end all this while. Life Tossing me like a sheep upon a sea. Thank God I made it to this point with my life. It is time I start living my own life. I regret spending years in another man's shell and never getting to fit in. It is time I look after myself. Tired of the tears, tired of 
Katie Music, right? Kiliti. <laughs> How are you? Oh my God, Kiliti, I'm fine. How have you been? I'm, I'm fine. Lord wow. Kiliti, you left without saying anything. Oh, well, I am sorry. I'm sorry. I... So why are you looking like this? What has been going on with you? You know you're the almighty Kate. I, I didn't expect to see you like this after a long time. Well... Life has no respect for anyone. Besides, you look good. You always look good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, why not hop in? Let's chat some more. Um, I'm afraid it's not a good time. I'm actually on my way to Asaba. You're going to Asaba? And? You're going to Asaba dressed like this? Uh, anyways, we'll talk about it. I am going to Onicha. Let me drop you off. He won't understand, but thank you so much. So let's let's go. Come on, come on. <laughs> wow. I, I didn't expect to see you after a long time. I know, right? <laughs> the almighty Kate, the envy of everyone. Wonderful. <laughs> I am tired, tired of the tears, tired of the fear. I am You look disturbed. Are you okay? <clears throat> oh, yes, I am disturbed. I am. Uh, I, I don't know. I really don't know what is going on. Kate told me she was going to leave, and I thought she was joking. But for me to call Martha and they said she has already left. Oh, Titus' wife. Oh, yes. Okay. Titus' wife. And I'm supposed to be going home this morning to go take care of my business. Oh, well, what? I came to tell you that I'm going back to school. I'm leaving this morning. Oh, uh, uh, no, no. It's how? We all can't leave him abandoned here in the hospital. Huh? Uh, so you have to stay behind. No, I'm leaving to school. I don't get it. Are you trying to tell me your classes are more important than my brother? Uh -huh. And are you trying to insinuate that staying here is more important than my education? No, I don't think so. Oh, come on. This is Titus you're talking about. The father of your son, as you claimed. Come on, this is the time he needs you most. Everything uh, he has done for you, it's time for you to pay him back. Well, if I can recall vividly, you told me that being here was a mistake in the first place. So I don't want to repeat the same mistake again. I, I, I know and I guess he's married, so his wife should stay back and take care of him. For me, I'm living with my son. Going back to school.
face, you look so worried. Do you mind sharing what the challenge is to me? I will, but not just right away. Tell me, how have you been? All have been well, but fine. I traveled out of the country after school and then I came back from Canada to manage my father's company. I must confess, since then things have been going well with me. Well, I am happy for you. Thank I you. mean, it's just that you totally forgot about me. Oh, uh, uh, not at all. Like I no longer exist. Not at all. I, when I came back, I, I noticed your number was no longer available. I try searching for you all over my social media handles, but to no avail. I was wondering where you must have been. I've been held in chains and shackles. I mean, I never knew life would be this hard. Life threw me to a corner and pinned me without balance. But I'm glad I'm alive. I just wonder why life would twist the fate of the innocent like this. I seems not to take you off my mind because you are the most decent and calm girl I've ever met in my entire life. Indeed, you've been battling with life. I've been going through a lot, Kilichi. If I knew life would be this tough, Maybe I would have been a tougher person. People have different life challenges and... But that doesn't mean you're going to adopt someone's excess um, approach to your life. You know, we are... We're equipped differently as so. well. Well, I guess I was equipped wrongly. Do not talk like that. Life is patience. But I tell you, everything's going to be fine. Can you put up a little smile? <laughs> When we were talking, you sounded like you live in a slum or in one deserted area. How? Well, it's like living like a slave in your own palace. Do you mind coming in, please? I, I heard the news. You're just hearing about my husband's accident. 
Yes, I, I, I mean, but mm. come on, you, you look good, but your husband just had an accident. I mean, I was expecting you to look moody. People will think that you caused it, don't you? Mike, please. Who cares about what people think? Eh? What was people's opinion when my husband almost killed me in this house? Please forget about what people think, Nico. Come on, matter. Kate. Come on, you are my little sister. You know, I will always tell you the truth. Come on, your, your husband just had an accident. At least, I called him some respect. What respect? Hmm? Does he deserve my respect? Does he respect me? We're here talking about the change that, that, that I started happening in my life. You're talking about respect. Please do. You don't have anything better to say. Tired. Okay, at least, what's the name of the hospital? Let me go and pay him a visit. Make yourself comfortable. Oh my god, this is wrong. So much too. Hope your auntie have been taking good care of you. Yes. By the way, where is she? Mommy, how is daddy doing? We hardly had an accident. Don't worry. Daddy is fine. Don't worry. In came. Oh, there she is. Oh, oh my dear. Thank you so much. Kids, why are you dressed like this and where are you going to? I was coming here. Besides, this is how I want to be looking henceforth. Don't you like it? Yes, mom. <laughs> I know. Kate, don't you think this is the wrong time to be this flashy? Judging from how you used to look when your husband was fine. Okay. You look as if you don't know what I have been through in the hands of my husband. How I was treated. But you know we were all against it. There's no buts. Okay. I owe no one an apology. I don't have a problem with how I'm dressing. I like what I'm wearing. And if you feel that how I'm dressed is very bad, then what I've been through should be your portion in Jesus' name. Say amen. God forbid. Oh, my darling. I will get so your things so we can go, okay? Hurry <laughs> <Sorry>, up. <laughs> okay. Think about it. Looking good is good. But not now. <laughs> okay, I dressed terribly when something bad had not happened. So now that something bad has happened, what do you want from me? I should kill myself. Besides, as for looking good or looking bad, I'm just getting started. Ah. Yes, I'm just getting started though. <laughs> <laughs> What's skipping them? Welcome home! Oh my god. Oh. Ah. Mm. Oh. Mm. How is daddy's condition? Will he get better soon? I don't know. Didn't you see him? I did. And I regret ever seeing him. Mommy, I thought Daddy had asked you for forgiveness. It doesn't really matter, okay? Your dad is a very wicked man. Yes, and what he did to me is unforgivable. Please, both of you, do not grow up to become like your father. Oh? I don't want my daddy to die. Mmm. Let me walk. Oh. 
Oh. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Um, Kate, how are you? I am fine, thank you. Kate, I know you are a very beautiful woman. And one of the kindest I have ever met. Not anymore. I have changed. I'm a different person now. I know a lot has happened in your home. But please, do not allow life, do not allow everything that has happened change the real you. What if you don't like who you are? I mean, it's okay to change. Change, they say, is constant. I know you have made up your mind. Yes. But at the same time, my brother, Titus, is still your husband. But please, do not abandon your husband in the hospital. He needs you the most. Yes. You have to go and take care of him in the hospital. He is your husband. Well, has Come on, what will people say if they hear you have abandoned your husband in the hospital? Well, has that husband been a good one? Hmm? Has he? And it's not the best time to pay him back. Well, why don't you allow me worry about being seen as a bad wife? I can't deal with that. Why don't you go to the hospital and take care of your brother? And I have been doing my best. Keep doing it. You know very well, I can't abandon my business. That's right. Your wife? Yes. I mean, she does nothing. So send her to the hospital to look after your brother. Hmm? Suche, I do not have time for things like that. Pardon my manners. What do I offer you? That is the problem. His wife, Kate, has refused to go take care of her husband in the hospital. Huh? Oh, this Kate is behaving strangely. I'm even suspecting she has a hand to what happened. Uh, 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 please, don't go there. He had an accident, that is all. It's an accident. It can happen to anybody. Mm. Ah. I know you will not believe me. And you trust people easily. Anybody could have reacted the way she's reacting. Eh? This is a result of everything her husband has done to her. Yes! That could be the more reason she has gone extra mile so that her husband can be badly injured or even dead. Okay. Hmm? Why are heavy words so light on your lips? Why? Eh? Sometimes you just, you just say them without even thinking of the consequences. Please don't, 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 have you noticed that mommy is now beautiful and that's where mommy should always be? But her lifestyle has changed. I thought we've agreed to live in peace in this house. I wonder what changed. Mommy is always happy now. That's what makes me happy. Mommy now she's gone, stays on social media all day, and does other strange things she's not used to. 
Mommy has really changed. Other people do all that. Our teacher in school, she always chews gum and spends a lot of time on Facebook. If that's what will make mommy happy, then let her do it. Hey, my darling. Hey, mommy. <laughs> How do I look? You're good. Thank you. So, mommy's going out, but mommy will be back soon. Your food is in the kitchen. Enjoy yourself. Bye. Mommy needs to go have some fun. Smile. <laughs> Bye, mommy. Bye. See you all later. Mommy is now Jeez. beautiful. What am I talking about? What? She's now beautiful. What's wrong with me? Different from the Kate I met the last time. Oh yes, Kate has changed. <laughs> well, I was on my way out the moment you came in. Do you mind joining me? That's if where you're going to is a place I'd like to be. Come on. A girl just wants to relax and have fun. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't just stand there. Get in the car. <laughs> what have I done wrong? Where did I go wrong? I have been the best I can be, yet you maltreat me. I have done all you want me to do. I respect and honor you. But it's not good enough for you What else can I do? I am tired, tired of the pain Tired of the shame I am tired, tired of the tears Tired of the fear Yeah, it's a bar, so what are you doing here? <laughs> Kelechi, what do people do in a bar? Hmm? You came to pray? Come on. Where's the waiter? Oh, waiter! Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, good day, sir. Good day, ma. Good day. What can I offer you? Well, I want a cold bottle of beer. Yeah? Do you drink beer? Kelechi. <laughs> Life is for the living. I suggest you live your life now that you are alive. I mean, we never know how long we're around for. Um, what can I get for you, sir? Anything soft to do. Oh, I'll be right back. In my wild imagination, I wouldn't believe you would go next. Let alone come to a bar, public place to drink. Like I said, life is for the living, you know. Allow me to enjoy myself. I mean, relax, loosen up. Then you have to do what will affect you later. Mm. I am not doing anything that will affect me later. I am just enjoying myself. Alright? 
And I suggest you do the same. See? Let's just enjoy. Wow. The way you're drinking this beer is obvious. You've not been drinking. Tell you with the amount of joy in my heart right now, I think I am in the right direction. Mm -hmm. There is a way that seems right unto a man. And the end is destruction. Kalisha, you didn't tell me you're not a pastor. I am not a pastor. But I'm telling you the truth. The last time I saw you, or the last time we met, rather, I noticed you were in search of peace. But I tell you what, you can find peace in a green bottle. So why don't it? Come on, Kilichi, I have heard you. All right, but we are just out here to relax. Why don't you save this sermon for Sunday? I mean, it's not even Sunday. You should have seen how irresponsible mommy dressed by going out today. Something serious is happening to mommy. Nothing is happening to mommy. She's more happier now than when daddy was here. Shut up. What do you know? It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> Juliet, I understand you. Okay? Did she tell you guys where she went to? No, she just left it to her brother. Hey! But she said she was going out. Shut up. Is that a location? Okay, okay. No problem. You know what? I'll wait for her to return. Then I'll talk to her. Is that okay? Please do. I am not comfortable with the way my mom is going now. Does that mean you like the way mommy used to be? I never said so. But I want me to laugh at us if they notice this mommy's new laughter. It's okay, That's please. A I know some of my classmates' mommy that dresses like that. Enough. I'll, I'll be you. It's okay. Enough of this argument. Huh? I'm here now. All right, both of you should just go in and read your books. Oh? Oh, um, so, Doctor, after a brief family meeting, you have decided to move our brother down to a very good hospital in Asaba so he can be close to the family. You see, uh, I think you you really don't know how how critical your brother's condition is right now. I mean, from here to Anambra, the road is almost a death trap. And I bet you he will not make it alive if you tread this road with such, with, with a, a man in such a critical condition. He will make it alive. Uh, so, uh, Doctor, what do you have us do? What, what, what advice do you have for us? Because it is not easy for me. Coming down from Asaba all the time is, is really telling on me. I have other business, other things I'm doing as well. 
Um, I think you, you can you can pay for AIDS. I, I know there are people around that you can pay some money and they will take care of him. But I still insist a member of his family, at least one, should come around and stay with him, take care of him. I think so. That would be better. Well, Doctor, at this point, at the, at the moment, you really not understand what is going on. You see, oh, yes, I, I can pay for it to take care of him. But getting a family member to come stay with him, at this point, I, I, I'm not sure of that. Okay. So, oh, that aside, how is he feeling? Is he responding to treatment? Um, he, 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 he's getting better, I believe. He's getting better, but I, I'm afraid if he gets out of coma and, and notice that none of his family members are here, I think he will feel rejected. He will feel bad and that will affect his healing process. Well, doctor, uh, in life, things happen to some people the way they respond to things. So, uh, well, he's my brother. I will do everything possible to see that he recovers very fast. I'm ready to pay any amount of money. And I'm praying for him. But I can't wait for him to recover and carry on with his package. Okay, let's hope and pray. This life is sweet, oh. <laughs> You're not used to drinking. You only had two bottles of beer and you drunk. You see? This life, this life is a gradual process, you know, next time maybe I will drink five bottles. <laughs> Who told you that getting drunk will help you solve a situation? Where did you get that from? Well, you see, even if it doesn't solve my situation. At least I am happy. Come on. You know, a wise man once told me that. If you don't find a solution to your problem, at least be happy. Get it? And I'm happy. I think we have to go. It's yes. getting dark. Yes. We should go. Let's go, please. Let's go somewhere I can find true happiness. True happiness. We're not going anywhere. I am taking you home. Let's go. Taking you home. What? No, no, stop, stop the car. Just, just. 
just stop, okay? Stop. Stop. Okay? Stop the car. Okay. Good. What is it? Look. You know that we missed each other before, huh? I'm ready to give it to you now. Please, please, please. What? You are a married woman. Crying out loud. Please, I beg of you, stop this. No, okay, fine, I'm driving. Allow me to concentrate. Okay, okay, okay. I will allow you to concentrate, but I don't want to go home, alright? I want to go to a hotel. Hmm? A very, very nice hotel. Just you and I. Let's just spend time together. Or we could go to your house. Hmm? Or better still, let's just do it. No, 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 no. It's okay, it's okay. I'll, I'll take you somewhere. Okay. I know of a better place we can go. Good. Let's go then. Come on. Just relax. I'm relaxed. No, no, relax and relax on the seat. Okay. Relax, eh? We'll go to somewhere nice. Yes, you like the place. Alright? Just relax. Alright. Let me just drive. But it's not good enough for you. What else can I do? Been rough. I have tried to be tough, but enough is enough. I can't take it anymore. Look, <laughs> Look. I can't walk. Okay, I can't. <laughs> You are going to drag me down. <laughs> Don't drag me down. I, I told you I can't. Please help me. Be careful, okay? Oh, please. Okay, what's all this? This is what we've become. What are you talking about? Is this the part you have chosen for yourself? It's my life, okay? And I will leave it the way I deem fit. Mr. Man, what do you think you're doing? For looking about the married woman? With due respect, young man, I do not frolic with her. She requested to go out for a bottle of drink. I never knew she'd get herself drunk. So mind your words. I am going to condone this today. But next time, I will not take it lightly with you. Stay the hell away from my sister. She's married for God's sake. Don't you have brain? I hate when dogs back. Irony of life. The best girl I ever met during my school days. 
I always pray and wish to set my eyes on her again. I told my wife about her. And I thought I would find her. And I will make her friend to my wife. Now here she is. A total opposite of what she used to be. Shameless irony. How does she get here? What happened to her? She now wants to leave into drinking and fornication. No. Something serious must have happened to her. I think she needs help. If she continues like this, her destruction will not tarry. Why are you doing this? You left your home with a man and you came back drunk. How do you stand to gain from all this? What messages are you passing to your children? Oh my God, Mike. What do you want from me? Eh? One moment you say I'm too soft. Now I'm tough. Now you're complaining about being tough. What, what is this? Oh, please. Please, don't even make it look like I have a hand on this contamination you, that you're bringing to yourself. Your children, they were crying. They were begging me to stay and talk to you. Mike, look. There is something you don't understand. I have changed. Something in me has changed. And I can't go back to the same woman I used to be. No. And don't worry about my children. They will understand when they grow. Kids, they are my kids. Kate, you've changed to the wrong person. Yeah? You, this is totally wrong. Look at This is exactly what your husband was protecting you from. And now you're making it look like he was right for maltreating you. <laughs> when last have you bothered to look at your children? Do you even care about, about, about how they get ready to school? What they eat in school? Whether they're being maltreated at school? Do you even... Come on, Mike. Did you just say bad? I've been a good wife, a good woman. Where has that got me? What reward did I get? Nothing. Look, as for being bad, I'm just getting started. Yes, I haven't even reached where I'm going. Wait until you see the new level Kate is entering. Then you can call me bad. Now I'm just getting started. Kate, you're saying this in front of me. Oh, you have please, no respect. Please, please, Mike, please. It's Elio. I'm having serious migraine. I'm having hangover from the alcohol of last night. Allow me to rest now. Eh? Can, can you hear yourself talk? You've become so careless with your words. Mm. You're not a woman like, come on, Kate, you, are, you, you can do better than this. It's wrong. But you don't, Mike. They are my kids. They will understand when they grow up. They don't know anything. Please, just go, okay? Your husband's brother is waiting for you downstairs. Oh, God. Can you just let me breathe in this house? I have to deal with you. I have to deal with my husband's brother. I have to deal with my husband's brother's wife. I have to deal with his whole family.
Money. Kid, how could you? You are for people? I am so disappointed in you. Is that why you are here? Come on. Even if you don't want to take care of your sick husband in the hospital, at least you should have allowed one of his daughters to go take care of him. If Juliet was your daughter, would you send her to the hospital to go take care of him? Oh, yes. But unfortunately, my children are schooling abroad. They are not in Nigeria. Yes. Well, my kids are too young for that. I'm sorry. And they are his kids also for your information. Mm -hmm. And this house is also his. <laughs> Uche. Uche, there's something you are yet to understand. Something has changed about me. I am no longer that woman you used to know, and I will never be her anymore. Are you serious? Yes, I am dead serious. Stop counting on me as a family member. I am not. When your brother feels better, I will serve him the divorce paper. Oh, Mike. Did you hear what your sister just said? Huh? <sighs> Kate. I understand that you're angry. Yes, you have every right to be angry. But don't you think this is the wrong time to be doing this? Oh. Now you will make me view all this from a different perspective. Come on, say it. Be bold enough to say it that Kate caused the accident, isn't it? <laughs> Uche, Uche, forgive me, but you're forgetting that I'm a graduate. I went to school and I know my rights. I have just been hiding behind that mask because I love your brother and I wanted to stay married, but not anymore. Since my gentility has been taken for stupidity, I am done! Done! You know what? I was in bed before I was told you were here. I better return back to bed. Excuse me. Okay, Will? And Mike, you're here watching your sister doing dance? What do you want me to do? Did you hear what she just said to me? What do you want me to do? When your brother was maltreating her, using her as a punching bag, did you do anything? If you had done something, I believe this wouldn't be happening. I know she's angry. She has every right to be angry. But listen. Someone's life is involved, and that person's life is her husband. Come on. She should have limited her anger. Not going this far. Uche, to be honest, I don't blame her. Not because she's my sister, but because she saw hell in this home, and you all know about it. We, we just have to take it easy with her, that's all. You can't force her at this point. Really? That's it, man. Okay. Good.
Anthony, you're welcome. Thunder fire. Th 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 thunder fire you there. Did I not want you to stop chatting men on social media? You're, what, 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 what is this thing? What, what is this thing? What did I tell you? Jesus. Hey. Did I want you to stop chatting men on Instagram? Huh? Eh? Was that the way you had to smash my if, phone? If, 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 you, if you talk to me one bit, eh? If, if, if... Just try me again in this house. Try me again in this house. Stupid. Petos. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Why are you doing this? Explain to me, Titus, because I no longer understand. Why are you oppressing me like this? So I'm speaking Swahili. Do you know the problem with you? You are just very stubborn. You are just very, very stubborn. Like, you can never obey me. That, that, that's your problem. Titus, You're gave... asking me what you've done. Titus, I gave up. My dreams. You asked me to quit my job and I listened. What more do you want? It's not just quitting your job, it's about you being my wife. That is not too much to ask, right? It's not an uphill task. Be my wife. Titus, I have been with you through good times and hard times and difficult times and all the times. I've given you two beautiful children. You all my own reserved love. What, what I respect you, love. Love. What respect? You don't give me no atom of respect because if you do, you won't be on social media talking to different men, telling them the color of your pants. You wear pink pants or you wear black pants. How the hell do you respect me by doing such? You claim you respect me, whereas you're all over the social media sending pictures to different men. Is that what respect looks like? You're just too stubborn. Do not go out. Is it hard? Is it hard? Anyway, I'm glad that has stopped. If you have no phone again to message different men. Some 
dresses that I know you're going to like. <laughs> the kind of dress that, that befits you. So. For me. Yes, for you. For you. This is wrapper. But not just wrapper, this is Hollandis. Another wrapper. This is sent down the rain, packaged in China and finalized in Turkey. It was, this is not my size, what is this? My God, you're breaking my heart by being ungrateful. Do you know how much I bought these clothes? Titus, Titus, you like insulting me a lot. So if you want to insult me, just go ahead and insult me. Go ahead and insult me. This is an insult now. How is this an insult? This is Hollandis. Hollandis. This is send down the rain. It's silky. The idea is for it to, to me. It's not, it's not meant to be tight on okay. you. Doing this, Titus. I am your wife. I'm meant to be asking you why you're doing this when you're meant to say thank you, my husband, for buying this. Why are you treating me like a slave? What is this? This, 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 this is just rappers, rappers, more rappers. I don't want to rap us. It's okay. I, I, I feel so bad for trying to make my wife happy and my wife is saying all of this to me. It's fine. It's actually my fault. It's it's fine. Fine. I'm your wife. It's, it's okay. It's like okay. your it's wife. Bad. It's my bad. You're just being so manipulative and you know it. You're just being me. Do you know what? Come and take your rubbish. I don't want them. Every day you just make me rap her, rap her. I'm a young girl. I'm not an old woman. They don't want me to As days and nights go by, I feel the heaviness of your time on my shoulder. I feel the pain of your shackles and chain on my legs. Is this one from Willow Inca? All this sermon, is it for, for who? Who are you talking all this from? Please. All I want you to know is I toil every night and day to keep this family moving. Okay? I'm trying to remain the man of this house. So all I demand from you each day is to allow me to rest. I had a long day. Please, enough of this sermon. Titus, Please. Let your slave go. Yes, you don't need me. Let me go. Listen to yourself. Are you now mad? Who made you a slave in your own house? And when you say go, what, what, what do you mean go? Go, go to where? Are, are, you, are, you try, are you trying to end this, this marriage? Titus. Titus, you know how much I love you. You know I would want to spend the rest of my life with you, but Titus, you don't even give me peace for a day in this uh, house that you call mine. I feel like a slave. How? No, you tell me, would you tell me the wrong I did, that I saw a, a nice cloth that I know my wife is going to love. Then I pulled over, I, I, I got the Hollandis for you, got, got all the clothes, then I came back home. My wife could not even appreciate the cloth I bought for her. You left it downstairs. Of course, I'm trying to make your home conducive for you. I'm trying my best to make, to, to, to make you a happy woman, but no, no, you, 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 you're not even happy that I'm trying to make you a happy woman. You're not even appreciative. And, and you said I'm making your home unbearable for you. No one is making your home unbearable for you. And no one has made you a slave. All I want you to do is to obey me and respect me and see, as you see, as you see, see everything from my own point of view. I'm sorry. Titus, please. Just let me go. Please, I'm begging you. you. Stop saying let you go. It's annoying. I can't stand another man looking at you, let alone let, letting you go. Can you stop already? Okay, look. I, I may be sometimes acting weird, but... It's because I love you. So much. More than you know, like, I can't, I can't stand letting you go. So take that off your mind. Hmm? 
Like, you, you need to, you need to relax and be well taken care of, okay? You look good on your bra. You need to see how you look. You look like our, our moms back then. That is what our fathers taught our mom. No, you, you actually look good like this. Hey, Junior, how are you? Mm -hmm, that's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> hey, honey, what's up? Um, Brian, come with me. You have to talk. Mm -hmm. Come. Uh -huh. Okay. I think you should minimize it. Jenny is getting old. My son is getting older. And one of these days he might just tell his father we a constant visit. I know you know what that means also. I don't. I don't. Come on, are you... Are you okay? Oh, tell me, I, I don't understand. Are you okay? I try and understand. I do not doing this in any way to hurt you. You know that. This is for our own purpose. What good? Tell me, maybe what good? That you're indirectly asking me to stop coming to your house and you tell me for my own good? I guess you're out of your mind. You haven't looked around something? Ah. You know my problem with you is that you hardly understand important things and it's just... Why should you understand what? That you're indirectly telling me not to come, to stop coming to your house? You want... Okay, I understand now. Maybe I think I understand and that is why I would... How are you? I am Uncle Kali, your baby. Oh, my darling. Uncle is my brother. Okay. Mommy, I am such a baby. Um, when mommy was little, Uncle used to carry her on his lap. Then he calls her baby. So that's why he calls me baby. Okay? My mom is such a baby. I know. Please put things exactly. <laughs> Mommy, no. Yes, just multiply two to it and then you get your answer. Mommy, Mommy, mm -hmm. I am proud of you. Aww. It's not everyone that have an intelligent mommy like you. Thank you, Juliette. But you both keep forgetting that Mommy went to school. Mommy. I am a graduate. Mommy, you told us already. But I keep wondering why you are not working. Yes, Mommy. I've always wanted to ask you this question. Why do you always stay at home even when no one is at home? Or uh, don't you get bored? No, I don't get bored. And I like to stay at home. Hi. Where did you go today? Oh, well, did you know my friend Snuffman had an accident just by our junction? And instead of them to take things... The question is, how did you know your friend's husband had an accident if you were in this house. Did I not tell you not to leave this house? Uh, it's just that Did I not tell you to always stay in this house and mind your business? 
thought you'd be happy. The, the guy would have died if not that I went. You're so stupid. Are you mad? You're mad or what? Did I tell you to stay in this house? Did I tell you to stay in this house? Am I your business? I don't look at children, please. As pretty as you are, you'll be walking around the street and other men will be looking at you. Please. I'm sorry. sorry. You try it again. What have I done wrong? Where did I go wrong? I have been the best I can be, yet you maltreat me. I have done who they show you to me like a child. I just can't experience it since I was a child. He always beats mommy. I wonder when it's going to stop. I think daddy enjoys beating our mom. That's why he does it every day. I think we have to tell uncle about this before he kills our mom for us. Yes, we tell uncle. Who does it? You're awake. You're up already. Um. See that uncle there? He loves you so much, okay? And mommy was trying to pull something from his head. That's why you saw me on him. Oh, mm? you're hungry, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Don't worry. I'll still make you something to eat, okay? Ah. <laughs> What is a crime that makes you beat her all the time? What is your gain for causing her pain? It's a shame, a big shame. She has been good and faithful. Instead of appreciating her, you have been so, so ungrateful. I'm sorry about what I said. Mabel, this is what you say every day. Things are getting out of hand. I know, but it's not our fault. He's fast growing and he's beginning to ask difficult questions. I'm afraid that one day he might just tell his father about us. Please. Yes. Maybe you know that we will regret it. This is very important to both of us and we have to protect it. You know. I... I understand. I understand. But you see, we're losing our intimacy. Do you think this might destroy our relationship? Maybe. Intimacy is what we will even get tired of. But our career is more important. Don't you think we should protect it? <laughs> I love you so much. I love you from the depth of my heart. And I'm missing you. And I love you too. Don't worry. I'll make out time for us. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do you keep 
keep beating my sister. Wait, is that why you stopped me? The way you were just waving, waving, waving. I, I thought maybe you don't, you don't have transport fare. So this is why you stopped me. I don't get it, bro. Tell me, doesn't it bother you at all? I mean, don't you have conscience? Doesn't it bother you that the person you use as a punching bag is someone's child and someone's sister? Doesn't it bother you at all? You see this thing you just did now? Don't try it next time, oh. If you don't have anything reasonable to say, don't ever try to, 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 to stop me. Are, are, are you mad? If you enter this car, if you enter this car and I don't break your head, if you buy a dog, name it Mike. What is wrong with you? I know you can't wait to be in Cree Cree prison. You're looking for who will lock you in prison, but definitely not from me. Okay? You see what you're looking for? You will not get it from me. I've, I've, I've seen you're running mad. You have you, you, you have the infantry to, to block me from entering my own car and I'll break your head if you don't take time. I'm I'll break your freaking head right here now. What's wrong with you? Let me tell you, Titus. Look at this boy. Titus, let me tell you something, eh? You see this thing that you're doing with my sister? It's, 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 it's not marriage, yo. It's not marriage. I was 30 years old before my parents died and I never for once saw them fight. But you, you beat my sister every time, all the time at will. What is it? Why? You see, you're very shameless. You were 30 years. 30 years. And you have absolutely nothing to show for it. And you, you have the guts to, to open your mouth to be... Just get out. How much do you think you have? How much do you even think you have? Huh? Is it because of this small money that you have? That's what is getting to your head? Huh? You may have small money. Yes! Little money! Anyway, I can't be exchanging words with you. You know why? Because you're still a boy. How old are you? How old are you? You are still a boy. How old are you? And above all, you are yet to get married. I can't be having this conversation with someone that is not yet married. What do you know about marriage? That is, that is stupidity now. I can't. You think what you're no, saying? No, just try and touch this door handle again. You think, you think you're mad? Try it now. No, one, one day I'm going to wake up from the wrong side of the bed no, and I'll pay you for everything you've done to my you, sister. You were dirty. Very shameless boy. And you have nothing to show for it. Oh, well, I have something where, where, that you can never have. I have something that you can never have. Please share with me. Good boy, heart. You're a wicked man. Wife bitter, wife brutalizer. What is a crime that makes you beat her all the time? What is your gain for causing her pain? It's a shame. Thank you. Nice place. Okay. You're married. Yes. You never mentioned it. We just met, Casey. There is no way I will tell you everything about me all at once. So where is your family? I'm not hearing voice. My husband got involved in an accident. He's admitted at Siri Hospital. Not too far from where I saw you. So why didn't you tell me about him? Like I said, Casey, we just met and I can't tell you everything at once. You're sounding strange. Hope all is well. All is not well. But I'll tell you later. Very well then. I have to run along. I have an appointment to catch up in on each other. But I will be back. That's if you want me back. Oh, yes, of, of course. The pleasure is mine. But you're not even going to take anything. Mm, not to worry. Like I said, I will be back. Okay. okay. Thanks for the long ride. Anytime. You're welcome. Okay, see you. <laughs> All right. You take care of yourself, okay? Of course, you too. I'll see you in a jiffy. Hello. 
Welcome, Welcome back. back. How are you? I'm fine. Hi. <laughs> and you? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> Mom, I'm a bit busy. I don't know if you will exercise questions. No, 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 no. Take your time. I am not in a hurry. When you are done licking her head, then you come and take your time and make my... <laughs> Kate, thank you very much for saving my husband. Who knows? Who knows what could have become of him if we were not there? Thank you. You have to stop thanking me. Thank God. Meanwhile, how is he doing? He's getting better. <laughs> I'm happy for you. He beat you again? Who else? Hmm. It doesn't look like he will stop anytime soon. I don't know. But I'll keep praying for him, hoping that he will change. Look, my friend. I don't want to give you negative advice, but this is unbearable. Look at you. I can't even recognize my friend anymore. What do you want me to do? Why brutalize her? What is her crime? That makes you beat her all the time. What is your gain for causing her pain? It's a shame, a big shame. She has been good and faithful. Instead of appreciating her, you have been so, so ungrateful. This is bad. So sad, you have been advised, but you're a friend Didn't I tell you to stop discussing me with your business brother? Ah, my brother? I haven't spoken to my brother in months. What do you mean you haven't You haven't, you haven't, you haven't spoken to him? You haven't spoken to him? You look me in the face and lie to me. So why was he insulting me? If you haven't spoken to your brother, so why did he stop me on the way and insulted me, even threatened my life? What, what, what do you mean you didn't? You didn't, and, 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 and that fool, that, that fool that has nothing, stopped me on the way to insult me. Pony, I'm not lying. I haven't spoken to him. Sincerely, I, I, I won't. Titus, you beat your wife in my presence? What kind of a beast are you? Don't you have an iota of compassion for your wife? What is your problem? Do you in any way realize that you are in my house? Go to hell with your house! Kate, I'm sorry, but I have to talk to this man. Mr. Man, what did my friend do to you? What is your problem? Why are you treating her like a slave? Look at her, I can't even recognize her anymore. So it's now a gang of business, eh? Now your friend is here insulting me and your brother threatened my life. Have you, have you seen the kind of friends you keep? No, have you seen the kind of friends you keep? Your friend is here insulting your husband in your presence. So I'm now your mate, eh? You are lucky you married someone like Kate. If it's me, eh? Mm. You see this house, eh? I will boss boss your head. I will I will break both you. I, I will see you shall nothing will happen. In my own house. Okay, we shall see to that. You cannot do anything. Beast of a man. How can you be hitting a woman? You're not helping matter. You're making things worse. It's going to kill me. Dying. Women are dying, 
people, they are victims of violence. Chai, they are victims of violence. Something must be done today without delay. Before it's too late for some people. Before no, no, it's too late. Okay, see, as I see that woman, I know say she get wala. I'm a open gate, me she carry a wala wrong come out. Can you listen to yourself? What if she has done something bad that deserves to be arrested? So this is how you open the gate for her. Okay, sorry, okay, sorry. See, you got last. You used to say you come out left here. Now you don't know that one a bigger oh, wala. Oh, no, no. Ah! Are you mad? Are you are you are you are you, are you stupid? Are you mad? Eh? Okay. Hey, hey. You see this thing you just did? Five thousand naira is out of your salary. It's fine. Okay, okay, Honey, please, 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 oh, I'm sorry. So you brought your friend here to my house to insult me. And of course, placed your brother on the way to threaten me. No, 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 I, 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 I didn't. I didn't. You didn't? You see what happened here today, eh? <laughs> Let's just assume that I will forget about it. <laughs> You get what I just said? Let's just assume that I will let what happened go. But you see that lunatic? You see that shameless girl? If I ever see her in this house again, it's all over. Hey, people, you get? Please, it's please, all over please. if I see her in this house again. Honey, please. Please. Chica is the only person that comes here to, to see me. And you know it. If she's not here, I will just be alone. From January to December, I will be inside the house. Stand up first. I wonder why you're kneeling. Did, did I ask you to kneel down? <laughs> kneeling down, doing her like bitch, man. Did I tell you to kneel down? Why are you crying? I'm only concerned on, on the way your friend came here to insult me. I, I, and of course, your brother. Why would you go outside and be telling them how we're living in our own house? Are we not supposed to stay together like one family? Whatever happens, we will keep it here in... in in, in, in the house. You'll be taking us outside. It's not proper. I'm sorry. Oh, it will never happen again. Because don't tell me to, to stop Chica from coming. You know I'm the only one in this house. And sometimes you will travel or go to the market. You it's see. okay. You need to go to the market You're like a baby. Tennis, you, you needed to see the way your brother spoke to you. He disgraced me on, on, on the way. It's not proper now. Is it hard for you to do what I want you to do? Is it hard for you to stay in this house without going outside? I do not like you loitering around for people to see you. You are my gold. You're not supposed to be seen like that. That is why I stopped you from walking because I must provide everything you want. But I will still tell you don't go outside, you will go. Don't go here, you will go. It's not nice now. I'm sorry. Huh? Sorry. Just imagine how your friend came to your own house so, to insult your husband. What would people now say outside? And your brother? Sorry. It's not good for you to share every little thing that happened. You just go outside and be telling everyone. It's not proper. It's just no. that. That. Just that what? Hurt. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't even know when I did it. It's anger. Huh? Sorry. My mother. Hmm? Oh, welcome. My runway model. Oh, what have I done wrong? Where did I go wrong? I have been the best I can be, yet you maltreat me. I have done all you want me to do I respect and honor you But it's not good enough for you What else can I do? 
I am tired, tired of the pain, tired of the shame. Look, um, I'm very sorry for my actions. I just, I just want you to know that I love you so much. I mean, that is the reason for, for the way I've been acting. I love you, like I... You're killing me, Titus. You're killing my dreams and aspirations. No, no. I'm supposed to be your dreams and aspirations. If I don't love you, I, I will not care one bit how, how you live your life or what's going on with you. It's because I love you. I, I can't stand losing you. I, I can't stand not, not seeing you close to me every day. Is that, is that why you send people to monitor me when you're out of town? Yeah, I, I do more than that. I'm sorry. Just for how long? How long will I continue like this? This is this is torture. I can't live the rest of my life like this. Can I? I am tired. Tired of the pain, tired of the shame. I am tired, tired of the tears, tired of the fear. My life with you has been rough. I have tried to be tough But enough is enough I can't take it anymore I have had enough You are welcome. Thank you. How was school today? Um, Ruby is very tired, but don't worry. I'll try and go and make something for you, both of you to eat. Mommy, why are you looking like this? You don't make your hair, you don't wear good clothes, and you always do house shows like a maid. Uh, um, come on, Juliet. Don't say that to mommy. Would you like to come back to the house and everywhere is unkept? But you don't have to look unkept just to make our home clean. Yes, mommy. Mommy, if you see our schoolmates, mother, they all look good. But when we come back home, we see you like this. We are not happy about it. Is it daddy that wants you to dress like this? Huh? No, 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 I... I am sorry, okay? My mommy is very sorry. I'll try to change and be better. Yes, oh, okay. Please, for our sake. I will. Come here. Okay. Okay, welcome. So, let's go inside. Have you both changed? Okay. Why I go make something? I want you to take this list and this money. Hurry up to the mall and buy everything on that list. Okay, ma'am. Your transport is there. Hurry up, run. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Oh, what have I done wrong? Where did I go wrong? I have been the best I can be. Treat me. I have done all you want me to do. I rest.
respect and honor you. Ma, please let me ask something. Please don't ask me anything. Ma, excuse me, I'm losing my way. What else can I do? I am tired, tired of the pain, tired of the shame. Come out here. So, how, how much for home service? Very good. I will give you 20,000 naira. First thing tomorrow morning, I will come here to pick you to my house. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Thank you. Please go inside. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's like you want us to have problem, right? You want us to have problem. Will you hide me forever? Will you, will, will you shut up? What did I tell you? Did I tell you not to leave the house? Are you out of your mind? I will deal with you today. That is a must. Let's go. Go uh, uh, enter this car now. Titus, this, you're changing. You know, the love I have for you is reducing. It's reducing every day. This was not the man I married. Rescue I mean, I don't my hair. Rescue I am tired, tired of the tears, tired of the fear. I've been going through a lot. I've been enduring and enduring, but not anymore. I've had it up to here. Titus is going to kill me. Please talk to him. He's you, his only brother. Maybe he will listen to you. So wh what is it this time around? Titus will not stop beating me. What? He's going to kill me, oh. For what? I have spoken to Titus countless times. I have told him it's not the best thing going physical to correct an adult. So listen, you are his wife. He has no right. He has no right to lay his fingers on you. See, even in the law court, it's a crime. It's a big crime for a male to lay his finger on a woman. What is wrong with him? The worst is that. He beats me like a criminal. God. The worst is that he, he does that in front of the kids. And these kids are grown. They will just be watching him beat me up at every slightest provocation. Please, beg you to talk to him. Biko. No, no, no. Sorry, I, I will. I will, okay. I'll, 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 come, I'll talk to him. I'll keep talking. To, listen, I don't know. What is wrong with Titus? I, I, sometimes I doubt if we are from the same parents. I have never laid my fingers on my wife since I got married to her. So where, where, where did he get this from? Alright, alright. So I'll just... Don't, don't cry. I'll, I'll do my best. I'll keep talking to him. He must hear me. He must listen. Huh? He has no right. What is, what, what is all this? What do you want from me? Why not leave me alone? Ah, oh, oh, baby. When, when did it get to this point? Eh? I am not in the mood for questions and answers. If you've got anything reasonable to tell me, please do and save my time. Babe, why are you talking to me like this? Huh? Oh, oh okay. Is it, is it because of what I said yesterday? I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. Forgive you for what, Mabel? You tell me. Forgive you for what? 
you openly rejected me and told me you didn't want me anymore. You remember I told you when you begin to make money, you'll forget about me. Isn't it playing out now? Baby, I, I haven't forgotten about you. And I haven't forgotten about our plans either. Or do you want to ruin it? Hmm? I, I didn't like the way you sounded. I didn't like it. Sweetheart, do you want us to talk about this over and over again? You've been with me from the onset. Hey, so why are you acting up right now? Why are you doing like this? I'm sorry, okay? Just that I didn't like the way you sounded. Don't ever make me feel so afraid again. <laughs> So, how's Junior? He's fine. Um, I have something for you. Some, First, something like what? Oh, it's a surprise. So, close your eyes. Uh uh. Make sure you're not looking. Steve Wonder. Are you sure Steve you're not Wonder. looking? <laughs> Kobo Masuko. <laughs> Steve Wonder. Close your eyes. Sir. Eyes closed. So, Steve Wonder. Ta da! Open it. Fifty thousand there for you. <laughs> my oh my, my oh my God! <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on, come on! Okay, we are going to be Recently. Why did you report me to my brother? Honey, huh? he is your brother. If you have a problem, he's your brother. So I can't. Will you shut down your mouth? Will you shut down your mouth? How many times has he come here to report his family to you? Huh? So father is making me hate him. How can you be beating my mom like this and you expect me to love you? It's not possible. Honestly, it's high time that you stops this. I feel deep in whenever I hear mommy cry. Something should be done before daddy kills mom in this house. I wonder why all this is happening in our own house, but it doesn't happen in other people's houses. I'm asking you. How many times has he come? How many times has he come here to report? Are, are you mad? Are you mad? I'm asking. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you mad? Huh? I feel you don't listen. You always like me to be beating you. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, talk. Turn your bum bum. I said, turn your bum bum now. Turn your bum bum now. Turn your bum bum now. I said, no, I'm you're sorry. Going. I said, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? Let's change the location. This, this place is just too small for what I'm about to do to you. Head to the room now. I'm sorry. I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I, 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 if Hey, Julie. I'm not fine. Please come to our house right now. What happened? No, dad is beating mommy again. Please come and save her before our dad will kill my mom for us. Please. Yes, of mind. <sighs> not again. Huh? Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. Of mind, please be fast. <laughs>
Pegawai. What happened? What happened, Lisa? Where are they now? I think he has locked her up in the room again. Please, brother, do something. Uncle, please do something. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Now, right? You come into my house to, 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 to shout for me? Are you mad? Guys, something to worry you. Leave my house. I'm not leaving your house until I see my sister. Where's my sister? I said, get out of my house. Guy, where's my sister? Take me to her. I need to see my sister. Take me to my sister. Wait, you have the gut to lock my sister up in the room and you are comfortably drinking here. Did right? you ask your sister what she did? Did you ask no your sister what she did? You have no right to put her Come on, get out of Guy, my house. Guy, take me to my sister. I said, now. Come, come, don't use this your mechanic hand to stay mad. I will put you now. I said, take it to your sister. Are you mad? Do you know how much this, this white is cost? Look at this mechanic boy. I think you're wicked. You're a very wicked guy. My friend, come and see your sister. Come yeah. and see her. You go jam your mates. Come eyes and tell me that you're enjoying this. That you're enjoying this constant abuse. I'm enjoying it. Mike, I am enjoying it. It's my marriage, so please just go. Just go. Just it. Please just go, Mike. I wish Uncle Mike would just handle daddy the way he's handling our mother. Hey, why would you say a thing like that? Do you want Uncle Mike to beat our daddy? He beats mommy every day, so someone should beat him as well. I just want him to stop beating our mommy. Please stop saying he should be beaten as well. I want this family to be as happy as other families. I wonder why it is only in this house that people fight every day. If daddy doesn't stop this and I grow up, I will never treat him as my father. Daddy, we love you so much, but it's painful to see you beat our mother every time. Miss Daddy, Daddy, why do you hate our mom so much? Jane, don't say that. Daddy and I love each other very much. Okay. Then why then does he beat you always? Oh. You know, couples have misunderstanding, right? Uh, they fight, they, you know, they, they, they make titles. Explain to your children why you beat me up. I beg in the name of God, please stop beating our mommy. Go to your rooms. <laughs> Daddy, please. Go to your rooms. Now.
They don't know anything. Even if you tell them, they will still not understand. That's it though. But blocking the entrance of this side, it will affect you to go in yeah. the right route now. Anyway, for security reasons, I think this is the only option we have right now. It's cross country. Mm -hmm. That is the country we found ourselves. Yeah, well. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, you're looking hey, so hey, good. Come on, I'm just, 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 Zanzibar, is it not Tanzania? Yes. <laughs> this is mad. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, you can see how happy she is. Ah, uh, the same thing you can do the same thing to your wife. Hmm? Oh, show her love. Take her out and uh, she will be happy. Um, okay. Please, you both will have to excuse me. I'm a little busy upstairs. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Right. Excuse me. Eh? Thanks for the drink, eh? Yes. <laughs> your wife is looking so beautiful, look. Oh, yes. Oh, day by day, she keeps changing. Like, exactly. when we married her, she wasn't like this at now. All. <laughs> at all. That's my investment. I invested so much in her. That's why she's looking so beautiful and happy. Good for you people. Good for so you. So your people. wife could be more beautiful if we invest in her and take good care of her. Show her love. Hmm? Um, <clears throat> you know, when you called me, you sounded so urgent. You know, you oh. said you wanted us to discuss something oh, very yes. important. So if you would just go straight to the point, let's. Mm -hmm. yes. Sap, sap, so that yeah. I will just have to run yeah. along. Anyway, at the same time, <clears throat> thank you for coming. Hmm? It's okay. You see, you're my younger brother, and I will tell you the truth. Uh, if you remember vividly, why growing up, we hated Papa so much, because he was always beating Mama. It got to a point we started fighting him. That was before, when yes. I didn't understand where he said it. Okay. But continue, you can proceed. Yes. So, I believed, because of our experience, none of us will ever lay a hand on our wife. I still I believe you still remember everything that happened between my mother. <laughs> This as a note of warning to you. If you ever as much as lay your filthy hands on our mother again, you will see the other side of us that you have never imagined. Kaitos! My hand ready! Uche! So this is what your mother asked you to do, Papa? Eh? Papa, it does not matter whether Mama told us to do it or we decided to do it ourselves. But the only thing is that we are coming to tell you not to lay your filthy hands on Mama again. What is wrong with you? Tell him. Yeah? I can't believe what I'm hearing. That my children not talk to me in this manner. I cannot believe this. Papa, make this sound as a note of warning. Don't you ever try that that you, you, you did back then. Don't you ever. Mama. It is bad enough that you have given her a waste injury. And you still have the gods, the infantry to lay your few tails on her. Yeah, what the fuck is that for Papa, where is your sense of... We shall see. We shall send that thousand on her from her Bobby. We shall see. Yeah? yeah? Are you sure that this man did not send his own sympathy to the market? I'm not even sure that this man is our father. Uh, it's like you go and ask for man. Okay. Like... Let's go. Let's go.
mind. It was when Ego the Herbalist finished massaging my waist. So she gave me some halves. Then who I was supposed to give her 5,000 Naira, but there wasn't any 5,000 Naira with me. I had only 3,000 Naira. So now I had to go to your bag and collect 2,000 Naira. So I said to her, but wait, I promise I will pay you back. Immediately I see this money, I will give you your money. Why do you like provoking me on that? Why? You make me look like a bad man. Wait for Andrew, 10 seconds. Now, where's my money? Nay, no, I promise I will give you that money by weekend. Many girl. If I, if I don't get money now, now, next 10 seconds now, I will beat you blue and black. I will, I will, where, where is the money? I will, I will, now! No. Give me the money. Now you will do no such thing. Yes. You took the money. You took my money? Yes, we did. Papa, we took the money. We did. We used the money to treat Mama, whom you inflicted so much pain on. You do not expect her to treat herself when you're the one that inflicted the pain on her. Exactly. So both of you are now for me. So you have turned my children against me. I have thousands now living with me in my house. No, I, I did not do anything like that. I did not do anything like that, Biko. Mama, Biko, 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 Biko. Mama, stop saying this thing you're saying. What do you, what do you expect us to do? No, I don't understand. Do you expect us to fold our arms and what Papa beat you to death? That's not possible. Wait, 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 I see. Papa, both of you have grown wings. You have now become man. You want to challenge me. The elders will hear this. The elders. Okay, the elders. Papa, so bad, Dero. The elders should come. And when they come here, they will explain to us the reason why you have been beating Mama on the daily without them saying anything. Like she's a horse. Is it your wife? Is Mama your horse? Is it your wife? She's our mother. 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 Papa, you can't do anything. You you stop. Stop. Papa, don't tell me to stop. Please, see, see your father. Don't please, don't be you you stop. stop. Mama, I don't want to dodge you. What's the win of this? My, this is very annoying. I am the one he's beating yeah, me. You people should just keep quiet, please. <laughs> stop. It's you that are beating me by saying that. Sorry. So I believe all these are not near to you. When I wanted to get married to my wife, it was a problem. Because the family refused. They thought I would be beating their daughter the way father was beating mother. But look at me today. Since I got married to my wife, I have never laid a finger on my wife. So my brother, I expect you to emulate that. Stop beating your wife. Uh, Uche, what you have to understand is this is my family. You have your own family. So I cannot come to tell you how to live in your own family. Or tell you what to tell your wife or what not to tell your wife. I love my wife. That is the love I have for my wife is, is bigger than anything you can think of. So beating her does not mean that I hate her. She knows that, that I love her. I eh, so you don't have to sit me down here to lecture me on I what know. marriage is all about. Everybody knows very well you love your wife. Uh -huh. So what are you Beating your wife does not show any sign of love. Okay? Papa loved Mama very much. And you know that. No. What do you mean no? He never did. He never did? He was just addicted to beating me. You lie. What do you mean addicted to beating me? Papa, since I was a child, you've been beating Mama. If you hate her that much, why not send her back to her father's house other than beat her to death? <laughs> Titus, my son. You see, a chick does not die because uh, the mother hand stepped on it. Okay? I love your mother. And that is why I beat her. Like, I don't understand. You, you love my mother. That is why you beat her. Like, can you, can you just explain to me like, so I can understand? Because all this... I can't, see, I don't if I don't that. love your mother, even if I see her misbehaving, I will not say anything. Okay. Don't you understand? Okay. 
Now, let me tell you something. Okay. If you look around these days, see that women do a whole lot of things. There's divorce here and there, people divorcing their wife because of misbehavior. You understand? Mm -hmm. But that cannot happen in my house. Because if your mother hear my voice, she trembles. Do mm -hmm. you understand what I'm saying? Yes. I mean, I blink my eyes. You know what I mean? And she will do it immediately. And that is why I've been able to beat her to the point, the type of woman I want her to be. Let me tell you one thing. After a father finished training the girl child, the husband retrains her to the kind of woman he wants her to be. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That is why you cannot hear in this house that this person is cheating or the other person is cheating. It cannot happen. Even if your mother see me cheating, somebody tell her, she will not believe it. You understand what I'm saying? Because I have been able to prove to her that I'm a person of integrity, that I care about her. You understand what I'm saying? And now, because of that beating, very important, because of that beating, she respects me as her husband. So, and she knows that I love her. So, Papa, now, eh, so beating your wife does not show any symptom of hatred, right? No. Discipline, if you go to military, you see them disciplining people so that they will see the red. That is what I'm doing. I want to make her reason fast. You understand? It's love. Hmm. Ah, Uche, it was a misconception. There is no misconception. Stop saying this thing. You forget things easily. Have you forgotten that we always fight? You said it now. We were always fighting him every now and then because he was always beating Mama. Then the day we got angry, and took Mama out of the house. What happened? No, tell me what happened. Papa told me vocally that we should bring back the love of his life. Was it not when we took Mama out? Two weeks after we took Mama out, Papa died. That is to tell you that what God has joined together, no man should put us under. We tried to put us under. What happened? Hey, Titus, I can see. Papa really poisoned your mind. He's not died. poison. This is what real men should do. I learned from Papa and I'm not regretting it today. Yeah? You're taking her to Zanzibar. Take care. I am punch her eyes one day. You see how she will mail you. The love will triple. This, these things, I know it and it's working for me. You're telling me this, that, as if... <laughs> you need to see how my wife respects me. Before I step inside the house, she will know I'm coming. Everything will be in order. This is my home, and this is how I've been managing it. So don't come and sit me down here to tell me I should, I should do okay. this one and do that one. Titus, Please. listen to me. I am advising you as your elder brother. You have to change. Are you done? Change before it gets too late. If you Go and make peace with that what woman and live peace? in peace are, are, in your are, home. Are we, are we living in pieces? Of course we are, we, are living, we are living in peace. Please, I see you're done with this discussion. I have to take my leave. Please, when your wife comes, just tell her thank you for the drink. Let me rush. Titus. I will talk to you later. Please. Titus. My brother and his wife have been living together for 25 years now. And no one has heard them quarrel or fight. Could it be that I'm overdoing this? My wife looks more like a maid. Imagine how beautiful my brother's wife is. But if I let my wife become that beautiful, other men will take her away from me. What do I do? What do I do to make my wife happy? What is a crime that makes you beat her all the time? What is your gain for causing her pain? It's a shame, a big shame. She has been good. My angels, look, your father loves me very much. And I in turn love him too. I have come to realize that he expresses his love to me wrongly because of how he was brought up. Do you mean he always beats you because he loves you? No. no. Well, that's his own way of 
making me understand how much he loves me. But you both are beginning to see your father as a bad man and I don't like it. No, mommy, if he will stop beating you once he hates you, then it's better for him to stop loving you. I really don't know how to make both of you understand this. But it breaks my heart to see that you're beginning to dislike your father very much. Your father has been a good father to you both. And he's been a good husband to me. Um, you always defend daddy, even after receiving punches from him. He loves me. Then you should learn to stop crying when he beats you. Because you don't know how it hurts to see you cry all the time. You know, Mom. I cry every time I hear you cry. Boss, cha, boss, bass, hi, bass, boss, ah, you want it down in a tea, bass, boss, boss, bass, bass, boss, it's all in we are. Wife bitter, wife brutalizer, what is a crime that makes you beat her all the time? What is your gain for causing her pain? It's a shame, a big shame. She has been good and faithful. Instead of appreciating her, you have been so, so ungrateful. This is bad, so sad. You have been advised. But you refuse to listen, oh, hey, yeah. You have been advised, but you refuse to hear, oh. One day your eye go clear. He damn bass, ha. boss, boss, hey. bass, bass, Chai. boss. You want to kill him oh. in a tear, bass, hey. boss, hey. boss, oh. bass, ah. bass, boss. It's all in the air. Domestic violence is being committed by people with no conscience and it's happening in our homes today. It should be tackled without delay. It's so dangerous, very dangerous. Some women are crying, women are dying. Oh, they have been crying. Sit, please. Don't worry. Sit. My angels. I'm very sorry for everything. But for truth, I have not been a good father nor a good husband. But today I have realized my mistakes. My actions... My actions doesn't make me a good father. Today I want to say sorry for all I have done to you. Sorry for making making your home miserable. Are you okay? I'm okay, but I will be more fine when you forgive me. Sorry. Daddy. Sorry. Daddy, I've forgiven you. Please, Daddy. Daddy, thank you for feeling our pains. I just want this house to be peaceful. Mm-hmm. And so shall it be from today. It's going to be peaceful. Hmm? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my love.
and very slow. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Okay. Forgive you. Check out the clothes, eh? Okay. Come and show me. I've never seen them this happy. Me too. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, stop thanking me. Well, it's been a long day. I have to go upstairs now and have a hot bath. And after the hot bath? I'm going to massage you and then give you a romantic bath. Okay. Mm -hmm. You are not a romantic man that I know. Okay. <laughs> then you watch me from today because I will massage you first. You take your bath from the bathroom to the bedroom and from the bedroom to the way. <laughs> <laughs> You are my first love. I've seen so many girls in life. I have been to so many places, seen different kinds of girls but I still chose you I will still choose you over and over and over again you are irreplaceable I just you have taken away the joy of marriage what happened to us the last 15 years? I'm protecting all I have. You are all I have. I just cannot stand another man close to you. Titus, you married me a virgin. I went to the university and came out a virgin. That should count for something at least. Yeah, that's true. But let's say I'm just being insecure. I just can't, I just can't imagine any man taking you away from me. But you know what, my love? It's fine. Okay? I'm truly very, very sorry. Let's start over again. For real? Yeah. Okay. Titus, it's been 15 years. I want another child. Oh. No, 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 babe. Don't, don't, don't say that right now. It's true I want bygone to be bygone, but no, this one is no. I don't, I don't want you to scatter. I, I don't know if that's the right language to say, but I just don't want your body to, to scatter. I want you to remain just like this. I want the heaps, the way it is at the right spots, your laughs. I, I just- Calm down. Oh, who told you I'm going to lose my figure by having another baby? I already have two babies. I'll still be fine. I just want one child, a male child. 
There is no way you will still remain the same. You, you. I will. I promise. Please. Look, you, you know you're my runway model. I know what I'm saying. If you have another baby right now. It's okay. It's, it's your way. It's just what you want. It's, it's going to be your way or no way. At least with that, you you know I'm I'm truly a changed person. not picking. I'm sure he's with his wife. You see, Randy men like them are very, very jealous with their wives. They see a man an inch close to their wife, they could do anything to kill you, but are very, very comfortable sleeping with other women. Isn't that strange? Baby, mm. that man helped us. You know, I we met him when we, we were about to drop out and he came to our rescue. Remember when my brother almost threw me out of the house because I refused to drop out to make money for him? Remember? Yeah, I do, I do. Do you know my brothers are still very baffled how I survive school today, how I still remain in school, pay my bills and all that. It still baffles them. Mm -hmm. Like, guy, how did you do I'm now? I know, right? You know, the idea you talked about is awesome, baby. I'll go with it and I'll make sure I do everything and anything in my power so make it come to pass. Mm -hmm. are you are you talking like uh, the baby I know <laughs> for saying this you know what but on to the next round Brian mm -mm. please that place is hot already don't come and kill me okay <laughs> now Since you slept off. Yes, baby, you called me up. How are you? I'm fine. Just that I miss you. I want to see you. I'm missing you guys too, bro. I can't come now. Baby, your son has been crying for four days now. He said he wants to see you. Can you give him the phone? No. Tomorrow. I told him you're coming tomorrow already, so please don't fail him. He'll be waiting. Well, um, 
I'll be around you before you know it, okay? Okay, see you soon, okay? Okay. I'll try. <sighs> Bye. Good night, okay? Excellent, you're a beautiful actress. I mean, Cynthia Rutrock, Genevieve Naji, Amatala Jeladi, all of them put together. You are number one champion. You went outside. Yeah. Yeah, I I went outside. Yeah, I heard noise, so I I went to check. Let's, where. Let's just, you went, you heard noise, and you went outside unarmed. Uh, yeah, but I just I just had to do it. You, you see that that's why I said we need a gun. We need a gun to to protect ourselves. Titus, please, I don't want anything to happen to you. Don't go out by this time. It's late. Please. Okay, I won't. Next time. Okay. Nothing will happen to us. All right? Okay. Oh yeah, that that reminds me. I we were traveling to Lagos first thing tomorrow morning. Uh this is urgent from from work. Okay. Have you booked your tickets? Uh, no, I I'm not I'm not traveling by air. I'm I'm, I'm going by road. By road, Titus. Have you forgotten how bad the roads are? Besides, it's going to be too stressful on you to go by road. I, I know. I I know it's, it's going to be stressful, but not just me. So we all are going by road. But nothing will happen, okay? Hmm? Okay, in that case, come to bed. Do you need to rest? Okay? Come. Yeah. That's the khaki. I've packed it. Everything is in good condition. Thank you very much. The world needs young men like you. God bless you. Uh, you know, what baffles me if, if I had not been the first person to be there, people would have made away with the valuables with him. Hey. You know that they, they are even more glued with taking pictures and instead recording. Of the, instead out. of helping an injured man. Humanity is far gone in this it country. It is, it is far gone. And you are a different person. Thank you. Thank you. That reminds me, what do you do? What kind of business are you into? Uh, after serving my ogre for seven years, he refused to settle me. But now I do all kinds of minia jobs just to survive. Interesting. So let's say you want to start up something. Like how much are you looking at? If I'm to include like pay for shop and maybe 400, 400,000 go a long 400, way. 400,000. Yeah, go a long way to pay for shop. Put in your account number. Thank you, thank you so, thank no, no, you so no, much. It's, no, no, stop that, please. It's okay. Jesus. This is a little token from my heart. Please, make very good use of this support and be a better person. Thank, thank you, thank and you. Don't stop being good. I will not. Call thank me you. if you need anything. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you, eh? Hi! I'm going to tell Shaggy Moto first. 
400k ma cosa che vedi con te quelli god please heal my brother my brother is too young to die at this age hey god please heal him at least let him come back and see what he has done to his own home It's okay, just just relax. Thank you. Just let us let us let us relax, don't relax, relax, okay, relax, relax. Just calm down, you Let's do this. this. Oh. What happened to me? Let us calm down, calm down, okay? Oh, let me oh. No, 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 no. Ah. It's not strong enough. Just relax, okay? Relax. Let, let me fetch the doctor. Let me call him, okay? Just relax. I'm coming. So great with the blood. Thank God you're recovering so fast. Thank God too. How is my wife and children? Yeah. They are doing fine. Doing great. Just that your wife is so mad at you, she's not happy. Did she see my phone? Yes. Everything was handed over to her and she went through your phone. I'm finished, I'm finished. I'm finished. Stop crying. Please, I, I need to talk to her. I need to ask her for forgiveness, please. Titus, I warned you. But you didn't listen to me. I told you go home and take good care of that woman. Your wife is a very beautiful woman. She's a nice woman. She's so loyal to you. But you took her for granted. Now look at Please, please. I, I just need to see her. Can I talk to her, please? I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'll, I'll beg my wife if she can convince her to come see you. No, 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 Take this girl 
Why did you turn off my music? What has come over you? Why have you turned the opposite of whom you used to be? This is the first time I am experiencing freedom. Drink, 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 drink. <sighs> Why are you doing this to yourself all because you saw freedom? Why? Kirichi, you don't understand. If you know what I have been through, you will be happy for me. I have been living like a slave in my house. And if this is a so-called freedom you think you found, then you're getting it all wrong. And if freedom is a person, he will reject you coming to him. Give it to me. Give me back my drink. I will do no something. Look. Come on, Kelly G. You and I. Please stop this. We have history. Stop this, please. I know you want to touch me. Stop. Come on, just Why touch you... me. Come on. <laughs> stop this. Come. Why are you doing this to yourself? Whatever you're doing, you better watch it because your children are watching. Yes, you're right. You're right. Children, children. So, how about we go upstairs where the children won't be watching? Come on, help me up. Come, come. Stop this. Come on, don't be a spoiler. I think this is the wrong time for me to be here. Oh. This is not just walking. What happened? Where is she? Okay. Ah, okay. I thought I told you to stay away from my sister. How irresponsible are you to follow a married woman to her matrimonial home? If I were you, I would help an embattled sister and not to talk to people in a ruthless manner. That woman in there you call your sister was my girlfriend during my university days. And you see that condition she is right now is totally the opposite side of the woman I used to know. And if it were you, like I said earlier, I would only look for a situation or a way to save a sister from a further destruction. Oh, so you think you are helping her by taking her to the club to drink alcohol and get drunk? A married woman! Are you listen to me? I am a respected and a married man with kids. I'm also a Christian. I do not take alcohol. All I'm doing is to help your sister. And if you think talking to me 
in that manner or asking me to live your sister's life is going to salvage the situation, then so be it. I will walk away and never to return. Suit yourself. Please, 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 please,
tired of this I am tired, tired of the pain, tired of the shame of the I am tired, tired of the tears, tired of the fear. Mike, why me? Eh? Why does it have to be me? Why, why did I have to end up with a man like that? It's not your fault. It's a mistake we all made. He came like a sheep, but he turned out a wolf. The the day I met him. It will never be where we tied us. It will don't, never be don't where we God will punish him. Kate, don't say that, please. <laughs> don't go the way of revenge. Don't forget that he's still the father of your kids. I mean, Kama is already dealing with him. At this point, you should just focus on establishing yourself. Even if you're still going to live with him. God forbid! I will never live with Titus. I will never ever have anything to do with that evil man. How can you even say that? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Okay. okay. What is the meaning of this? For God's sake, this man just recovered from a long-term coma. You people should have kept his family problem away from him till he becomes, he gets okay, he, he becomes completely fine. Doctor, I'm sorry. Yes, we are really sorry for what happened. But at the same time, don't blame me. I'm fed up, I'm tired. If you know the problem this man has caused in his family, you, you will not be blaming me for this. Don't tell me that. You should have kept away whatever it is until he gets back his consciousness, until he gets completely okay. No, I'm sorry. Like I said before, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's not my fault. If we're in my position, you would do the same thing. Everything is on me. Tired of solving problems I know nothing about. It's frustrating. <sighs> anyway, I can see I've made a big mistake allowing his family come to him at this point. I'm trying everything I could to make sure he gets well. But you people keep bringing things that will damage his mind. God. Doctor, please. Just, we're sorry. It, it will not happen again. Please. See, I've done everything humanly and medically possible to make sure he gets well. And have it at the back of your mind. That if anything goes wrong from this point, you have yourself to blame. Don't blame any person. You blame me. You blame yourself and your family. Have a nice day. I told her, I told her to leave that marriage. But she refused. That's because you do not know what marriage is all about. They married blindly. That's why they are living in errors. I don't get. They were both matured before they got married. Maturity in marriage is not measured by how old you are. So before going into marriage, no matter how old you are, you need to be trained. Marriage could be frustrating when you know nothing about it. So she needs to be taught about marriage. So what should we do? How do we help my sister? She needs to be taught what marriage is all about. Then she will know what marriage has done to her and what she has done to herself. 
I really need to speak to her so she could stop drinking. As to be able to read the books I'm going to give to her. I don't know what to say again. I mean, at this point, whatever works, man. Because that guy is going to kill my sister for me. It's okay, we'll find him here. Well, I'm going out to have fun. Just go back, sit down, let's talk first before you leave. No. I already said that I'm on my way out. So you people will go and come back some other time. <laughs> it's a lie. It seems like you're not getting it. I said go back and sit down, let's talk. Mike, and I said that I can't keep my guests waiting. I have a date. I have to go like now. Are you stupid? What? You have a date. If you leave this house, I'll break your head. Are you mad? No, but Naya. Mike, you want to break my head? You want to continue from where title stop, Okoya? Break my head! You want to go ahead and beat me! Beat me now! Stop. It's okay. Leave me alone! Just leave one. Who are going for a date? Kenichi, this is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand, though. It would have been better she remained in her husband's shackles than, than living like this and bringing shame to the family. No. Though no human deserves slavery. But freedom, and if not properly handled, it could be worse than slavery. You don't have to be harsh on her. It is difficult correcting a woman that is on corporal punishment. Why are my girls looking this unhappy? Mommy, we want to see our daddy. Since he traveled, we heard that he had an accident. But you don't want us to go and see him. You saw your uncle, didn't you? Yes. And you even told us that daddy has been in coma. Ah. Mommy, I know daddy has been back to me. But he's still our daddy. At least you know your father has been back to me. But don't worry. I will make out time to go, to take you both to go see your father. You know I've been really very busy lately. Running this house by myself, it's, it's a lot for me to carry on my shoulders. But don't worry, I'll try to work out time, okay? So I can go see your father. I have to see him tomorrow. Hmm? Yes. Mommy, we can phone and he came to go and see him. That's if you're too busy to take us there. Okay, okay. It, it hasn't gotten to that. Yes, I, I am very busy lately, but I'll make out time tomorrow. Then I'll take both of you to go see your father, okay? 
at least so we can have some peace around here. Okay. Okay, so the face is still very low. You want to smile a little bit? Be home soon. Hmm? Where's your mom? Oh, I heard he has regained consciousness. Are you serious? So what are you doing here? What am I doing here? How? You know I can't go there. I have classes to attend to. Me Mabel. Can you listen to yourself? We're talking about how to get money from them and you're talking about classes? Have you imagined if that man stops paying his school fees? What will you do? Well, his brother said he will take care of my son and I. And they need the baby boy, you know. And so he will. And you think that will not distort our initial plan? What if he dies? <laughs> How can you say that? He will not die. Uh. Mabel. Stop behaving childish. This is a lifetime opportunity. And we must utilize it. I mean, imagine we'll get money from him, start up a business. What if money stops coming? At least we'll have something to fall back on. Use your head. I'll go. Oh, it's all right. It's just that I, I'm beginning to feel you. You're making it look like I'm forcing into something you do not want. Please, if you're not comfortable with this, you forget about it. Forget about it. I just said I'll go. Yeah. Oh, you need a kiss? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More like it, man. That's my baby. Yo. <laughs> <That's my job. laughs> Please let bygone be bygone. Oh yes, Titus, I will let bygone be bygone. And that is exactly why I have filed for divorce. Oh. No. Please, please. Please, I still love you. Oh, just, just, just shut up. Shut up. Do not even say that word love from your mouth. Titus, you and I know that you do not have an iota of love for me in that wicked heart of yours. So stop sounding like a hypocrite, Vico. Hey, no, 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 no. You won't say all that in the presence of your children. Oh, please. These children have seen worse. They have seen their father beat me day and night. They can take this. Please. <laughs> I know I don't deserve to be close to you. I know I don't deserve anything good coming from you. I know. 
Oh, don't forget, we promised each other for better, for worse. Hell no, Titus. No! I will not stay with you in this worst situation. I will not. Haven't I given you enough? I have given you everything. I gave you my love, everything. I became a slave in my own house. Yet, you decided to go about the whole country having concubines all over Nigeria. Only God in heaven knows how many women have babies for you all over the place. Why I beg you to let me have just one after our last baby and you refused. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, kids, what's, what did you just say? Yes, you heard me. Your brother here refused that I would never have another child after our second baby. I begged Titus day and night. But Titus refused. He even beats me up sometimes just so I don't mention it anymore. Honey, tonight is going to be special. I want us to make more babies. You know, I'm overlating, so it's a perfect time for another child. Please just take these things out. I want to sleep. Please, let's let's go to bed. Baby, what are you talking about? It's been eight years since I had my last child. You know how important a male child is. I want another baby. Wait, are, are you saying my, my female children are not important? No, no. So, so what are you I saying? I will never say that about my angels. I'm just saying in this part of the world, male children are important. I, I, I just want male children. Well, you are not having any child for now, okay? I just want you to remain like this. No child. That will be much later. Not now. Titus, what are you saying? Titus, people will start talking. What, 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 do, you, what do you mean people? What do you mean, people? Okay, fine. I don't care about what people say, but I want a male child. I have always dreamt to have a male child, even if it's just one. Well, well, you can undream because I won't let you have any child now. Tonight? That's fine now. Please. Okay? I'll pay for all these flowers if, if, if that's what you're, you're worried about. But for children, no. 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 Not now. Please. I need, I need to go to bed. What do you say? How dare you talk about this again? I have never in my life seen an evil man that does not want a male child. I didn't say I don't want a male child. I only said I don't want you to have a child now. So when? When will I have a child, Titus? When I get to my menopause? Can you stop talking about this? I am the man of this house. I call the shots here. I am not contesting that with you, Titus. I just want a male child. I believe you know what I can do. Do not repeat what you just did now. your own wife, your flesh and blood, because she wanted a male child. When I say I have been through a lot in the hands of this man, people don't understand. But not anymore, Titus. Your spell over me is broken. I won't take it anymore. I am done for good this time. I am done. <laughs> it's, 
Titus. How did you get to this stage? How? Beating your own wife? Just because she wanted a male child? Your primary responsibility? Ah, uh, please. please. Please, <laughs> this man is evil. Please. Yes. He deserves all he is getting. As a matter of fact, he deserves to die. Uh-huh. Look at it very well. The two lines shows that I am pregnant. <laughs> We're expecting a baby. Baby boy. I thought. What did I do something? What else? Can I do? I am tired, tired of the pain, tired of the shame. I am tired, tired of the tears, tired of the fear. How dare you leave this house without my consent? I went to what? I was feeling pain. Sir. Wait, you, you, you use this pregnancy as a medium to leave this house no, without my consent? No, no, not at all. I was feeling pains. I had to go see I the doctor. That was why. I don't have anything to say now. That was how I lost the baby. He pushed me. That is how demonic Titus can be. Titus, tell me it's a lie. <laughs> Titus, just tell me she's not saying the truth. I know I have wronged you. I know I have done despicable things to you. <laughs> Can we start again? Can we? No, Jesus. There is no forgiving. You're only sorry because you were in this condition. The moment you feel better, you come back to beating me again. No. I swear with my life, I will never lay my hands on you again. I will never ever do it. Well, that is too late. It is too late because I am done. Kate. 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 If not that you are my blood brother, I will stand up from this seat, follow her, and never come back here again. Could it be that father lied to me? Don't blame anyone for your wickedness. You won't understand. Father taught me so many things. <laughs> you are very sweet. You are sweeter than honey. Sweeter than sugar. You know, right? That small fruit. If you lick that rhyme, even if you drink bitter leaf water, it will be sweet. That is what you are. <laughs> Every time you be using your sweet mouth to confess me, I ask you for money. Where is the money? I can preach. Is that why you are making face like that? Eh? Okay. Gana, gana. 
look at it now. <laughs> my sugar daddy. That's why I love you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, once you are with me, anything you want, I will be giving it to you. Oh my God. <laughs> my sweet. So when are we saying again? You shall please in the evening now. Okay. Kaibu, why? <laughs> Tighten your face like this. Is your mother at home? I don't know. I don't know. But Papa, yeah. I'm not happy with you. Ah. Seriously speaking, I'm not happy with you. Why? Is that why you're tightening your face? What is the problem? Okay, let me leave the tightening your face. Papa, Mama asked you for money today to buy food stuff. You said you didn't have a dime. But not quite long, I saw you giving money to one little girl. Girl old enough to be your daughter. Titus. Titus, do you know the errand I was sending that girl? Do you know what I sent the girl to buy for me? You just saw me giving her money, you, you concluded I'm dashing her money. Papa, forget this jumping up and down that you are doing. Besides, I saw you hugging and kissing her. You always protect my mom from other, other men, yet you go about with other women. Why? Eh, why? Mm, Ty, I will discuss this thing with you man to man. Mm. Uh -huh. Man to I will, man. I will explain was, things to you. At that time, it was man to woman, not mama. As I will explain to you. Okay, yeah, explain. Let me know. Uh, mm. What I want to tell you is that okay. I've made so many mistakes in my life. Okay. You understand? I want to explain this thing to you because you are not an adult. Mm. Very soon you start talking about marriage. Okay. And I wouldn't want you to make the kind of mistake I made. Mm. You understand? Mm. So, Papa, mm. now tell me, what type of mistake did you make? What kind of mistake? Try. You see, um, uh, I had five children with your mother. Okay. Although the co hand of that took away three from me, mm. remaining only you and Uche. Mm. Allowing your mother to have so many children was the worst mistake of my life. The worst mistake of your life? Yes. I really still don't understand. Can you be more explicit? You will not understand because you are not married. Okay. Now let me break it down to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. When your mother had the first child and the second one, mm -hmm. everything was still okay. Okay. But when she started having the third, the fourth, and the fifth, you know, as woman begins to give birth to so many children, mm -hmm. her body loses. Okay. So even when I sleep with her. Mm. I no longer have that feelings of sleeping with a woman. I mean, she lost the taste of a woman. Sleeping with a woman. Because I don't understand, though. I don't know. What do you mean? Die. Mm. Learn this today from me. Mm. Don't allow your wife to burn too many children. Yeah. Because the more she gives birth to children, her body will be loose. And when you sleep with her, mm. you will no longer enjoy her as a woman. By mm. that pushing you to look for, you, you understand what I'm saying? Oh, okay, so in all this grammar now, what you're saying in essence is that as a woman gives birth, she loses her, her sweetness as a woman, right? Not just give birth, mm. too many children, that is the point. So yeah. don't allow your woman to have too many children, so they can still enjoy her good age, that's what I'm telling you. Lecture, this is biology, this is important biology lecture is what I'm giving you here. Because after all this grammar, after all this preaching, you see something. I understand. You are, actually, this is man to man. Tide, 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 tide. No. He only fed your tender heart with his wickedness. <sighs> when my wife. When my wife gave birth to our second child, her body became loosed. So I had to believe that what father said was right. 
Come on. There is a medical exercise that helps women get back their body after giving birth. It is called Kegel exercise. It helps them tighten their vagina walls. And that will help your wife return back to normal. I've never heard of that before. And that is why you have to allow your wife to go for her postnatal classes with a doctor. In that case, they will teach her how to take care of her body after giving birth. I still don't know why you allow father to teach you his wickedness. <laughs> you don't have to blame me. He was our father. I just had to obey him. Yes, he was our father. But the bad one, both of us grew up seeing our father brutalizing our mother. <laughs> Verbally and physically torturing our mother. At the time, we started fighting him. And I expected you to know more. Okay. I never believe you. To start laying your fingers on your wife. Now look at what it has resulted you to. It has landed you in regrets. Now look at all the mess you have caused yourself. Please, don't bring me into this. Please, you're my brother. You have to help me get my life back, please. I don't hate my wife. I was only doing all of that to keep her based on what father told me. I thought I was doing the best thing. I didn't know I was, I was doing everything to help myself. Please, help me talk to my wife. Help me, please. please. I will never do that. Instead, I will pray so she doesn't come back to you. Because you do not deserve her. So that next time when you see a woman who loves you, you will cherish and adore her. Would you please? Eva. Would you please? manner of human is your brother? I, 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 I thought you were blaming kids. See, that was before I knew it was... She was going through all of that. Like, hey. No woman, that, that woman changed. Hey. Like, see, see, listen. If Titus wasn't my brother, I would have advised kids to go get him arrested for maltreating her. What I still don't understand and what I can never get is how will you treat someone badly and still claim to love them? How? Well, some people believe until you torture people who work for you, people around you, you don't get your 100% loyalty. But that is not the truth. Even when you have such mindsets, you don't have to bring it to your marriage. This is your wife, your flesh and blood. The same woman that cooks your food, the same woman that gave birth to your children. So how can you be treating such a person badly? It's wrong. I have spoken to him. I don't know why he's still bent on doing what he's doing. Hmm. Now I understand why she can't travel. She can't live in her own husband's house freely. And she can't even walk. All her dreams and aspirations all dead because she got married. You can see it. You can see it. So listen, no woman deserves to be maltreated in her home. Now I see why some women take some decisions without even looking back. No matter what people are saying, she takes her decision and leave her marriage. Because it is better to leave marriage these days than even dying in your marriage. Well, at this point, I think it's only prayers. We all should go on our knees and pray for Titus because I just don't know where this is coming from. I don't know. 
I pity Keto. Yeah, I'm, she's a strong woman. Good day, sir. Good day. Who are you? My name is Kelechi. Your wife's friend at the university. Oh. She told me you're here, so I decided to come by. Oh. Just have a seat. Thank you. I met your wife the other day. And I noticed she's not the woman I used to know. I made some inquiries and I was told she had a hard time living with you at home and is affecting her mindset. I'm sorry I'm not supposed to come discuss this with you, but I thought it's necessary talking this with you. What can I do to get my wife back? Is to live a new life. You see, you live the life that goes against the ethics of a happy home. You need to give your wife wings to fly. I fear she might fly above my reach. Then control her. That was what I was doing. You don't control an adult with fix and howling. Corporal punishment is not for humans. Yes. What am I supposed to do in order to keep my woman to myself? The first thing you need to know is that you can't control a human. The only way to do that is to love and care. That's the only way you can turn a wild animal into a pet. How then do you think we can keep human loyal? Except to love and to care, even if she flies to the apex of the high heavens. She will still fly down and rest in your bosom. Bro, please. If you can bring my wife back, I promise to treat her well this time. I will try my best, but I'm not promising you anything. If you believe in God, you can make your wife a better woman again. Maybe I had the wrong orientation about marriage, but now, I understand better. That's true. I'll get you some books. So you read and learn about marriage. Books written by great people who have high knowledge about marriage. The same books made me a better husband. How are you doing today, honey? I'm not happy with you. I heard you were told to stay with me. But you refused. Maybe. How could you even say that? Oh? Do you know that the very first day we came here, Junior and I, Junior almost fainted. The trauma of seeing you in the States almost killed him. But for me, nothing will happen to my son. Where is he? She was crying, so one of the nurses took him out. Babe, the next day he felt so sick. Just knowing that you're in this state got him very sick. That's why I couldn't come.
So how how have you guys been coping? Not well. We are not coping well at all. In fact, I had to borrow money for us to feed. How? What, what happens to the, the, to the money I sent you not quite long? Maybe I used it for, for school practicals. That's why I asked you to come over so I could explain to you how I spent the money. How was I supposed to know that this kind of problem would be for you? So if anything had happened to me, my son would be suffering. Oh, baby. Thank God you're the one saying this. Thank God it is coming from you. This is one of the important issues I wanted us to talk about. Baby, I, I need to start up a business so I can earn money for Junior and I just in case you travel out or you're out of reach so we won't have to borrow money like we did to feed. What kind of business are you looking at? An old schoolmate of mine that resides in Dubai said she could link me up to one of the companies over there that will supply me with stuffs like footwears, clothes, bags at cheaper rates that I could sell here. Don't you think you have to finish school first before doing business? Actually, that is why I have not spoken about it. But then, baby, after all that has happened, I'm afraid. Nobody prays for misfortune, but it comes. So I have decided to open a business in a larger way employ an experienced hand that can handle it while I finish school. By so doing, it will be easier for me to monitor the business time to time. So how, how much are you looking at? Um, with everything, shop rents, all the expenses, maybe no things are, are expensive in a back here, so Let's see, three million. You come with me, okay? Um, I can treat you right. Such a beauty. Oh. You just... <sighs> you just spoke English. That means you understood where I said, leave me alone. Ah, I mean, uh, who can leave an angel alone? Uh, look, baby, I have money. Okay? I have Don't touch me! I can take care of you, okay? Look. Hey. That mommy broke somebody's head yes. and the police arrested her. Wait, now? Yes. Who 
Okay, now tell me, what do you want to achieve by doing this? Mike, I have decided to be tough. Yes. I just wish Titus was here. So that I can show him that loyalty is not weakness. Kate, this is exactly what I saw when I asked you to leave this marriage. Huh? But you never listened to me. Titus will so pay. I will so make that man pay for all he puts me through. Kate, please. Leave now before this marriage destroys you. Leave this marriage now. Mike, I am ready to divorce Titus today. But no, I must have my own pound of flesh. Uh -uh. He can't do all that and just go scot-free like that. Kate, you are my younger sister. But one thing about you is that you never listened to me. Yet everything I ever told you came to pass. You shouldn't be thinking about revenge now. You should be thinking about leaving this marriage with your sanity intact. Look, Kate, I can support you. I can, I know I don't have so much, but I can squeeze myself. I can help you start all over again. I can help you get another apartment. I can also support you to start up a business. Just leave this marriage before this marriage destroys you. Because at the end of the day, this will go and get married to another woman. You'll be a destroyed woman, and I don't want that for my sister. Please. Oh my God. Baby, five million. Oh. Baby, thank you. Five million. That money is it's for you and my boy. Take proper care of my boy. Alright? I hey, will, baby. I will sure do that. Thank you so much, baby. I love you so much. I didn't give you that money because of love. I gave it to you so you can take care of my boy. I don't want him to suffer. I'm a married man. I told you this before we started. Yeah. Notwithstanding. Thank you so much. I make proper inquiries before you invest, okay? Sure, I will. I, I should go see Junior and make sure he's fine. Many uh -huh. is big enough mm. to take hers to the bourgeois class. Oh, <laughs> to the millionaires! To the millionaires! Oh, baby, I think we should travel to South Africa. You know, with the money we have now, to be enough to give us a better life. I mean, we'll stay there, enjoy yeah. ourselves, and uh, I mean, they'll keep waiting for us here till they die. Yeah, I thought so too. Leaving this whole place, starting afresh, you know. Even though I know he will look for Junior when he recovers, but then, it's still okay. 
That's all right. Well, you see, from now onwards, okay, you stop calling him baby and make Junior here understand who the true father is. It's very, very important. Mama, I like his uncle. Shh, Junior. He's your father. Mommy, he's not my daddy. Junior, stop it. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, with time, he will get used to it, okay? I'm your father, hmm? And your daddy. You get? So how are you feeling today? I'm getting better. But I'm still feeling things. Serious pains on my on my ankle, on my knee, on my laps. Yeah, don't worry. With due time, you'll be fine. Okay? Thank God you're healing very fast. Well, um, I have to talk to the doctor to give me a referral letter. So we'll move you down to a hospital closer to us. The distance coming here is really telling on me. With due time, you'll be fine. Okay? Thank God you're healing very fast. Well, um, I have to talk to the doctor to give me a referral letter. So we'll move you down to a hospital closer to us. The distance coming here is really telling on me. Titus? What did you just say? I'm pregnant, sir. Who is responsible? What do you want me to say now, sir? Don't you expect me to mention No, now. This, this is wrong now. This is so wrong. Why would you be so careless? I told you I'm married. I'm a married man for crying out loud. 
Usai asked you to use a condom. You refused. Anyway, please, I need some money to abort it. Who, who will give you the money to do that one? Me. We'll give you money for abortion. Don't, don't, don't even say that close to me again. No. I should give you money to go and do abortion. Oops, sir. Oops, sir. Sir, I, I, it's still, it's, it's still bloody now. It's not. Yet Don't say that close to me now. I should give you money to, 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 to go and kill an innocent child. It's not a child yet. What, what do you mean it's not a child yet? Why will you be so careless now? This, this, this is not fair. I, I told you to use a condom. You mean that boy is not your son? Duty. I've been spending millions on her because of that boy. I don't know why you choose to live such a life. I don't know. Huh? After everything I told you, you claim to be a giant at home, but look at you. Why allow little children to play with your emotions outside? I've been a fool all this while. A very big fool. Look, look at what you have done to yourself. You wore a queen, a crown of thorns and allow a commoner ride on her horse. I just pray you get kids back so you can give her the crown she deserves. All I'm asking for is a second chance. If I don't get kids back, I'm afraid. That is a lot. 500,000 Naira. So why don't you instruct your account officer to stop her from taking money from your account? No amount can be compared to what I did to her. So do you want her to liquidate your bank account even before you leave here? Mm. She can't liquidate my account. But if doing that will make her feel alright, then I don't have a problem. She's no more on the decent side. I think she's doing like this. I am tired of being called your wife. Because I am no longer that woman. That is why. Now, mine are too small for you to say hi. Hi, Mr. Uchi. Here. Divorce paper. Sign it and we are done. Excuse me. Titus, has it gotten to that? How can you think of taking your own life? What's the need of staying alive? I've lost everything. There is no need staying alive. Leave me, let me die. Let me die. My wife has left me. What else? Let me just die. I have always told you that you shouldn't lose hope while you're still alive. You need to stay alive. Once there is life, there is hope. Things can still turn good for you, Titus. I'm just, just, I, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still trying to imagine it. Oh, but you mean you want to take your own life? Come on, there is nothing worth dying for. 
You should be grateful to God that you have businesses still doing well. Get well and get back on your feet. I can't do this alone. I can't imagine losing my wife. But you never acted like you loved her. If she leaves me, I will die. I will die. Do you want to die? It's the same woman under your roof. You treated her like a slave. You were meant to adore this woman, to cherish this woman, but you inflicted pains, fear in her. I don't blame her. I don't blame her for leaving you when you needed her most. Because you didn't treat her nicely. Should be grateful to God you have a second chance. <laughs> Mr. Uche, please. This is not the time to apportion blames. No, let, 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 me, tell, let, let me talk to him. I told you. This is not the time to apportion blames. This is time to, 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 to give him hope. To make him believe that he can still get things right again. Just stay alive. Stay alive. Every other thing can be fixed. You don't need to kill yourself when you still when, when, when you still have hope. There's still hope. You should be grateful God. to God. You should be very, very grateful to God for giving you a second chance. When you want, you want to take your own life. I think I will have to discharge him. Since you people will not stop bombarding him with so many family problems. Come on, doctor, it hasn't gotten to that. It has gone beyond that. I said, it has gone beyond that. If he commits suicide here, people will not believe. You people will even blame it on us, on our incompetence. Nobody will believe it was you people that killed him with loads and loads of problems. Doctor, come on. He brought it upon himself. Then let him be. Let him be. He's not dead yet. He's still alive. And whatever it is that went wrong, he can still fix it. Huh? Once there is life, there is still hope. With what language do you want me to say it before you understand it? Doctor, calm down. Calm down. Okay? Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I'm so upset here. You people are, are, are frustrating me. I'm trying to get this man to normalcy, and you people keep making him go worse by the day. See, if you people will continue like this, then I will have no other option than to discharge him. I came home drunk. Oh, not again. Please help me, help me put her on the couch. Thank you. 
It's a few more issues, thank you. Is it? Jane, Juliet, why are you crying? Hmm? Why are you treating us like this? What have we done to you? I, I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? I, I don't remember. I forgot. But I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Mommy, why did you start drinking? You have completely changed. It is men that used to drink, but daddy doesn't. I wish he's not to live like this. Mm. You no longer get us ready for school. You no longer care whether we eat or not. Mommy, you no longer have time for us. Why are you treating us here because daddy was beating you? No! No, no, how can you even say that? I'm sorry, I love you both so much. Mommy, you make our classmates laugh at us. I'm, I'm sorry. Mommy, you're making us feel ashamed of you. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't... I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I, I can't... I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is where I'll be staying from now until uh, our departure date next week. Okay. Sweetheart, did you hear that? Huh? I want to see my daddy. Oh, sweetheart. You know, this is me, okay? This man seated here is your daddy, okay? The other one is your uncle. It's not your daddy, okay? Come on. How long will this continue? My son, I mean, saying right before me he wants to see his daddy. I don't get it. How long will it take him to recognize me as his father? Baby, don't blame him. He's still a child. You know, he, he grew up knowing that Titus is his father to this stage. I'm sure when we travel out, he will grow up realizing that you are the real father. Please, I'm begging. Junior. Okay? I am your daddy. I love you so much. This is your mommy. Hmm? And I'm your daddy. You get I love you so much. Hey, Juliet. What's your school in the assignment that you give? Um, 10 over 10. Oh. Uh, I'm serious. I'm how can you score 10? It's a lie. No, 10 over. I'm serious. Hey, my darlings, come here. Mommy, come bearing good news. Okay, I am here to tell both of you that 
I have paid for a new apartment and we are moving tomorrow. <laughs> Mommy, will daddy join us then when he returns? No, your daddy won't be joining us because I and your daddy are no longer together. You both are divorced. No, but we will as soon as he sign the divorce paper. Mommy, please forgive daddy. I want you both together. Mommy, please. <laughs> You know how your daddy beats me all the time? He treats me very badly. I can't be with your father anymore. Mommy, I thought you said he beats you because he loves you. Well, I lied. You know, when you grow up, you understand how these things work. Mommy, I'm sure dad will no longer beat you again now that he's sick. At least... Will you shut up your mouth? Shut up your mouth! What do you even know? Oh, what of you think you came here? I, I came here to beg you. Do you know what? Don't pack your things. Don't get your things ready by tomorrow and I will pack my things and leave both of you to stay with your father if you want to stay with your father. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mom is very angry with daddy. If she takes us away now, we may never see our daddy again. But daddy was so wrong to treat mommy very badly. Is that why you don't want to see him again? No, I didn't say so. But I won't blame mommy for being angry with daddy. Should we leave with mom and never see daddy again? No, I still love my daddy. Please, forgive daddy. I am sure he needs you now. Please, mommy. We still want you both together. Why are you both doing this? Why are you doing this? You, you're sounding as if you've not been with me in this house and see for yourself how your father almost killed me with beating every day. So you want me to stay here and wait for him to recover and then get back to beating me? Please, I can't. Let me just go. Mm -hmm. Please, you push me stop this. Okay. Even if you want to divorce him, please allow him to get better. Please, please. Please listen to them. And I promise I'll help you fix things in your home. So all the things you've suffered in the past will not recall itself again. You don't understand. My house will never repent. It's not better I leave now that I am still alive. I don't support domestic violence. A divorce is not the best option. It does not affect couples alone. But the kids are at disadvantage in the whole process. So please. Kate. Kate, please don't leave. Mike, it's me. Yes, please. For the sake of everybody in front of you, for the sake of your kids, please stay. If you leave now, it will look like you're leaving for your own selfish interest. I know Titus messed up, but I believe he must have learned his lessons as well. Just give him a second chance. If he comes back, just draw your lines. And if he can't cope with it, then you both can go your separate ways. But I think this is the wrong time to leave, honestly.
sweet dreams, so beautiful, my Sweet dreams, baby. Sleep well, okay? Um. Have you slept? Yeah, that's fine, I've slept. So, this is how we sing in lullaby. Every time before he sleeps. I mean, is this what we're going to be going through? Baby, please. Just give him time. I'm sure he will get used to the fact that you're his father. Please. Time. Give him time. With time, he will recognize me as his father. I mean, how long? What even hurts me the most is he cries right before me demanding to see his father. Come on! That gets me upset. Baby, please. Calm down, okay? We will get through this. Everything will be over after time. Very soon. Time is of the essence. They say it's for better for us until death do us part. I wanted to maintain that oath. My parents couldn't maintain theirs. My mother married three times, and my father had four wives. Growing up was so difficult, so I swore to keep my marriage intact no matter what. Now I see where this problem is coming from. You're the cost of it? What? Me? If you know what I have endured in the hands of this man, you won't blame me at all. That is the point. When you start enduring in your home, you do not need a soothsayer to tell you that you should start reconsidering your place in that house. But he kept telling me he loves me. When threats comes into a home, it means two things. The person issuing that I have no idea of love, which can be called an obsexy. Those are the two most dangerous things a home should break for. An obsessive man can kill his wife and kill himself. A man who hates can also kill his wife and move on with his life. I never meant for my marriage to, to break. You know, I, I swore an oath in the presence of many. Those that celebrated your marriage, they will stay gathered to celebrate your burial. So it's better to talk about your divorce than talking about your death. Can't you understand? Yes, but I just felt if I continue staying, maybe he would change. And your staying have made things worse. If a man has beaten you for no just cause, first, you need to make him understand that you're no longer comfortable with the beating. And when he refuses to stop, then you have to leave. You are not leaving because you want to, but because you do not want to lose part of your body at the process. But I have left once. When I came back, things became even worse. His family members have tried to talk him out of it on several occasions, but it doesn't change anything. And then it continues. Yes. I was really afraid of losing my home to another woman. If you don't belong, you'll be beaten to death. And another woman will come take your place. So the earlier you realize that life is more important than marriage, 
the better for us. So, what do I do? Hmm? How, how do I you know, make things right? You have to start afresh. Build a career for yourself and make it your number one priority. And any man that calls himself your husband should understand it and accept it. Okay. But sincerely, I don't think I ever want to go back to Titus. I don't think I can give him another chance. This is serious. How are you? We are yeah, fine. Um, uncle, thank you for helping us change our mom. Yes, Uncle, thank you. She no longer drinks and she no longer goes out. She always sits at home to read books about marriage. Thank you, Uncle. Thank it's you. okay. You see, everything is going to be fine, right? I'm going to make sure that your parents come back together in peace again. Uh, uncle, we'll be very happy if you do that for us. Let me tell you. Said, everything is going to be fine, all right? I know you guys must have gone through a lot, but not to worry. God is going to perfect all. So where's your mom now? She's inside. Oh, let me see her. i see you guys later. Okay, thank you, sir. Honestly, I wasn't ready for a home. My husband has been toxic. And I thought it was love that was making him punish me. You're just realizing that you were intelligent. You should have known about that long before now. 
I have never read a book about marriage. The past few days, this book you gave me has opened my eyes to a lot of things I never knew. In the olden days, our parents were taught so much about marriage by their own parents, grandparents, and relatives. But in our time, we are at disadvantage because no one is teaching us. We do not even have time for our own children. Look at our girl children. They know nothing about miseration until they are disgraced in public. That's because we do not teach them. We do not have time to teach them anything about life. We're only concerned about money and in all, kids. I think I know what's wrong. There is a problem. And what is it? Tell me, we can put heads together. I don't to love Titus anymore. Yes. With his feast and howlings, he has managed to chase out all the feelings and affections I ever felt for him. Uncertainty is a way of life, Kate. You may not know what the next person will come up with. Just like you do not know that your husband, Titus, will turn this way. If you would take my kind advice, I will advise you stay calm, stay put, because it's obvious nothing else can be done. I just feel like divorcing him. I I don't think I'll ever be able to love him or tolerate him anymore. Kate, this is where God comes in. This is where you need to pray and meditate on God's word day and night. I know with his infinite mercy, God, revive your love for your husband. You mean that boy is not my husband's son? What? Yes. It sounds funny, but that is the truth. As you speak, the woman ran away with her boyfriend. I went as far as traveling to Abakaliki in search of them. And I was told they ran away. Yes, but the lady in question, the boyfriend, and the child, they are nowhere to be found. Oh, wow. Well, that's self status, right? I am sure by now he'll be licking his wound. Oh, you should be happy or grateful to God that he's still alive. Yes, he almost committed suicide. Thank God myself and the doctor were there to rescue him. If not by now, he would have been dead. God forbid. He will not die. Well, I think he's regretting all his actions. Yes, he's a different person entirely. For the best gift God gave to me, 
You are my prayers answered. You are everything I want and even more. Today I want to plead on behalf of your majesty, which is my woman. I want to go on this journey with you forever. Titus, yes. Yes, Titus, I will spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> I'm glad you love it. We're all just going right back. <laughs> I loved him so much. I am sure he loved me too at some point. I wish he didn't turn into a monster. Yeah. My brother Titus took after my father's lifestyle. But from what I'm seeing, I believe he's a different person entirely. I wish he is. Actually, a different person. I want my man back. Trust me. He still loves you. Believe me. I'm very sure of that. I want the man that proposed to me on that day. I want the man that gave me so much love that I agreed to to be with him forever. I want that man back. My brother Titus still loves you. Every day he still wants me to convince you to come and see him. He cries for you. He is toxic and you know it. But running away from him won't change him. What would you have me do? Stay here until he kills me? No. It's never my wish for you. So listen, you are a good woman. You have done your best. You have done what every good woman would do. But at the same time, I do not want to be sentimental in my judgment. If you will listen to my advice, Please, go back to him. Give him one more chance and see for yourself if he has actually changed. That whatever decision you now take, everybody will understand. I wish I, I had these books before I got married. I would have seen life differently. You're correct. Even if you didn't read the books, you can at least get some teachings about marriage. It will help you a whole lot to learn and understand how to keep your home. Maybe if you're exhibiting certain characters that are not good, 
This box will also help you solve them. Yeah. Very correct. I mean, so far, I've learned a lot. I mean, I'm almost done with this one. Go on. Keep reading. My greatest desire is to have my wife back. Can you allow me to hug my husband? Excuse me. Remember the nights before you traveled? Still in my memory. Don't break that. Oh. Titus. Mrs. Kate, I'm happy to see you come back for him. You know, I keep telling people there is no perfect marriage anywhere. Uh, divorce should only come in when it is too dangerous to stay. But people are quick to divorce their partners these days. See, if there is a little chance, please. Make it work. Just make it work. Thank you very much, Doctor. At least now I know better. Oh. Mm. Okay. Um, I learned you are here to take him. Yes. Yes. That's because, you know, we need him closer to home. That way I will be able to be at his beck and call. Yes. I learned you you coming from Asaba. Asaba. Oh, the journey is so far and the road are bad. The roads are bad. Okay. What I'll do, I'll go and get the necessary documents ready so you can sign them and take him. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing today? Good as you can see. I'm doing a lot better. Good. The wrong features. Oh, very pretty good. That's good. Good news. Huh? 
Uh, kids, I can see you are doing a very good job. Hmm? <laughs> you are taking good care of him. Well, he is my husband. And I won't leave him for anyone in this world. Ah. <laughs> that is good. That is good. Um, uh, that reminds me. I have a very good news for you. Uh, Anabe and her boyfriend has been arrested. Please, please. I don't want to hear that name again. Uh -huh. Respectfully, would you not mention that name close to me, please? Okay. I have moved on. Is this so? Come on, honey. I mean, that woman deserves to be punished for what she has done. At least so that other people will learn from her mistake. Exactly, you're right, kids. Eh? See, well, they're in police custody. Eh? And I want them to be punished yes. by the law. For doing, for doing, for doing that to you. How is your child? Oh. Well, he's with the relative. That's fine. Um, please, please, please. Please, please, please. 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 Please, please